Oh. Sayaw. <laughs> Sayaw. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, Ari Raiders. I know that Ari's already disappeared off to do whatever it was that she was doing, but I figured I should start a little bit early so that you guys aren't just uh, chilling in the void for a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone had a good Monday. <laughs> and Delmond, Delmond, thank you, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> welcome, welcome on in, Cash, Smokey, Crayon, Do, and Sharon. Welcome, welcome on in. I hope you enjoy no your stay. And please, if you are still here, Thank our lovely Delmond. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome on in. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Void spawn, yes. We just, you know, I was, the I had the window open just because I was like g pulling over last minute things before stream, like making sure that chat was set up properly. And I was talking to some of the other VNU girlies in, uh, in a Discord call. <laughs> and all of a sudden I was just like, wait, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> what is this? Mm -hmm. But, um. Uh, yeah, I'll have to thank her. I'll have to send her a message later to thank her for the raid. Ah, uh, because yes, she did take off. I hope that she at least has a good time doing whatever it is that she is doing. Mm -hmm. Early start? Yeah, we're starting a little bit early, Phantom. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Ari, who we have a collab with later on this week, um, dropped her lovely community over here a little bit before we were meant to start, so... Mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave everyone here. I didn't want to leave everyone here. She got the go, go, go message. I did get the go, go, go message. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just, I don't like being left in silence too long myself. So I figured, you know, maybe I would come make a little bit of bonus noise here. I was straight up just screaming into the void uh, earlier in the voice call with the girlies too. Because Mita and Amoria Senpai were, were doing that thing where they argue. And if you've never heard the two of them together, um, yeah, so... <laughs> They're, 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 they share the same brain cell. They will just go and they will continue talking even if the other one is talking when they're arguing. So you just get like a straight, like, oh, I can't believe that you would do this to me. Like everything that you're doing is just mean. Oh my God, you're gaslighting me and everything. And one is just going. And then the other one is doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> this is so loud. Jello Noel, thank you, thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome on in J and Silencer. I hope you enjoy your stay here with us. But yeah, the two of them were doing that. And then um, eventually I was just like, DK was in there too, but DK wasn't making any noise because, you know, she just finished talking for three days straight for her birthday. So she's chilling. Uh, and I was just like, they're like, should I add to this? I'm gonna add to this. And so just the middle of their argument, they've been yelling at each other for a good like five minutes. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> just until they both like, they like slowed down when I started and then like they kept going, but like a little slower. And then eventually they stopped and they were like, Scion? <laughs> D did you need something? And I was like, no, I just felt left out. I just wanted to join in on the cacophony. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one way to get an argument to stop, I suppose, is hold like one long sustained note and eventually they'll ask you what you need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was the argument over muscles or K-pop? <laughs> not quite, not quite, but it was uh, something along the same level of uh, importance to the two of them. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Can we have a cursed animal fact? Oh, what cursed animal facts do I have today? Oh, oh, actually, uh, well, I don't, I don't know this one for certain, actually. I'm gonna have to look this one up as, as we give it. But, um, I have a coworker today who was talking about slow lorises. Now, if you don't know what a slow loris is, they're very cute. Um, and the reason that it came up, particularly, was because this was, like, one of the girls at work was saying to the other one, like, oh, you kind of remind me of a slow loris. Like, you've got these, like, really big eyes, and you're very cute, and you're really small. So, therefore, you remind me of a, <laughs> of a slow loris. And then the other girl, who was just called a slow loris, was like, you do know that uh, they have, like, bacteria in their armpits, and when they lick their armpits, the bacteria mixes with what's in their mouth and creates a venom that, like, 
will cause necrosis. And that's why sometimes slow lorises are just wandering around with like half of their flesh, like not on their faces. And I was like, that can't be fucking real. So I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna like fucking check that right now. <laughs> uh, Venom, uh, half face, question mark. Oh yeah, it causes necrosis. So animals may lose an eye, scalp, or half of their face. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, there's your animal fact. <laughs> Don't ever get bitten by a slow lord. <laughs> Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, have a good night, Kitsu. Have a good night. <laughs> uh, is it like a lemur? It's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's the, got the same sort of build. Like, it's just got these really big eyes. I think it's personally, it is cuter than a lemur. Um... But, <laughs> not, yeah, uh, it's it's a cute little guy, but yeah, like, Jesus Jesus Christ, yeah. Cute but deadly, slow loris. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a beautiful, venom causes the victim's flesh to rot away, and e some lorises have even been seen with half of their faces melted off. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> Animals are so fucking metal, but like, also, why? Why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, welcome. There is your cursed animal fact for the night. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, you know, the cutest little guy, but, um, just a really bad time if it bites you, I suppose. <laughs> Has massive eyes? It does! Still haven't emotionally recovered from the koala facts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think koala facts are fun, though. Um, sounds like a good VTuber design. It does, because it could be, like, really, really cute, but then have a toggle that's, like, really, like, that gets, like, the poisonous, venomous side of it. You know, that would be really cool. <laughs> Nature be like, death world it is. It really does be like that, hey? Does it live in Australia? Uh, I don't know. Where do they live? No, no, not where to buy. I do not want one of these. Oh, my God. Where do they live? Do not... Let me purchase a slow loris. Uh, native to the rainforests of South Asia and Southeast Asia. So like Thailand and like Bengal and those kind of areas, I'm assuming. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, yes, yes. You're tempted to Google it, but you're terrified of what might happen to your algorithm. I mean, they're just little guys. When you Google it, you're not going to get any of the melty face pictures. I, at least I didn't get any of the melty face pictures. They're just little guys. I mean... Okay, they're little guys, but they also kind of look like a nightmare, you know? Like, if you've ever had, um... Oh, God. I don't know if anyone else... Okay, did anyone else, when you had a, uh... Did, if, you, if you ever participated in road trips, like, family road trips, you know? Um... It when but okay, <clears throat> for for those of you who are part who participated in family road trips, but are old enough that cell phones did not exist on said family road trips, and you had to do things without backlights, and so therefore all you had to do for the entire fucking drive is stare out a window. Um, I know that a lot of people, myself included, used to imagine like a a a guy just just a fucking dude like running alongside the car, you know, like hopping on like telephone wires or like on rocks or trees or whatever, like beside the car. Um, and like when it was on like four arms and legs, I don't know why why the fuck I'm making that motion. You can't fucking see me. <clears throat> like the uh, black dog thing, trucker see sort of. Erasing raindrops. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the the more I look at all these photos of slow lorises, the more I realize that like that was my guy beside the car. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like like this this fucker is definitely what I was thinking of. But like only very particular images of them. Like some of them are really cute, but every once in a while there's a photo of a slow loris, and I'm like, that's the guy. That's. That's the guy. That is that is the ninja guy on four legs that I definitely assumed was running next to the car. <laughs> when do I sleep? I I just I just got home from the raccoon world. Um, I I I sleep in approximately five hours. Yes. You don't know why, but they remind you of the owls from the Outer Worlds DLC. With the, yeah, they've got those really big eyes. Just big, 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 big eyes. I thought you couldn't visualize things. I can't. 
but you can you can you don't have to be able to see things to like uh, like okay this is hard to explain so like I get no I guess if you can see things that doesn't make sense I was gonna say like if I do like I'm like the the motion of like a running animal you know what that looks like right even if you can't see it but then I realize that most of you can probably see what a running animal looks like in your head. So like, I can't see what a running animal looks like in my head, but I know what a running animal looks like in real life. And therefore I can, it's conceptual. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly, Kidney. It's, yeah, it's not a visual thing. Like I couldn't like actually see this guy running beside the car, <laughs> but you know, I can like use my finger. You can't fucking see my finger. I don't know why I'm using it to show you guys, but like, and you can like, trace the the jump path of the guy and then like you know that there's a you know a, a, it's a, you know you've decided that it's on four legs and it's just a little guy who's like running beside the car and you can like <laughs> with your finger you know with like the upside down views as it like jumps from one thing to the next does that make sense <laughs> does that make sense so it's not like yeah so for those of you who have come over from um <laughs> from not here <laughs> people who came over from Ari's channel um I have aphantasia which means that I don't actually like see images in my head like that's not how my my imagination or brain works I don't get images I don't get like words uh I do have a narrator though um mm -mm -mm. um but yeah so like when I say like oh like I can imagine such and such a thing I can't actually see it <laughs> it's it's like a, it's a concept of it you know like like, I know that apples can be green or red and they've got a stem and when I draw them, they always look the fucking same because they're a little circle guy with a divot in the bottom and a divot at the top and they're slightly wider at the top and they've got one stem with two leaves, that's it. <laughs> they look the same every single time I draw them. Um, mm, but it's the same sort of idea, right? Like, I know theoretically what it's to what 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 I'm trying to like get across or like what I'm quote unquote imagining I honestly didn't realize that like people <laughs> people could actually see things for the longest time I I always just thought that that was a saying I always thought that was a saying like picture this and I was like yeah everyone is obviously doing the quote unquote picture this right like you know you picture a dog and you're like oh yeah a dog okay so like dog has four legs and like if it's a black lab then it's you know it's black it's got a little, little, little cute little eyes and a cute little tongue and it runs around and it's tail wags because it's all happy. But like, that's, that's what I get. Like, I just get like a story told in my head about the thing <laughs> as opposed to, um, like seeing it, you know, mm -mm -mm. she, she can't not think of a purple cubed apple. What? That's just a square. That would be a, what, a square with a stem, right? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Your mind only has words? Yeah, it has sounds. Mm -mm. So, like, essentially, uh, instead of getting a television, I have a radio. I just got a radio in my head. Um, so I've got, I've got, like, a consistent narrator. I get songs playing in my head all the time, which is, like, fantastic for me because I hate silence. <laughs> but it's not so great for people around me sometimes because if it's silent in real life, but my head is playing music, I will generally just start humming it out loud. Um... Thankfully, my current job in the raccoon world is like really chill about it because they they get a lot of humming. They get a lot of well, they they get a lot of humming humming when it's like slow. hasn't It really hasn't been lately. It's been really friggin busy. <laughs> the raccoon world needs to fucking chill, y'all. It needs to chill. Ugh, terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's hard to imagine what it's like. You close your eyes, you can still pick your scion. Really? Yeah, I can't. Oh, this is gonna sound bad. I can't- I don't even, um... If you ask me what my mom and dad look like... If you ask me what pa, mom and pa heart look like, I can give you general descriptors. Um, but like, I don't- I can't actually see their faces or anything, you know? Like, I- <laughs> I know what they look like, theoretically. And I can obviously recognize them when I see them, right? Um, but I- I can't actually picture like their faces or anything in my head uh so like <laughs> part is male with a 
thing and some stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, though the funny thing is, is that not this year for his birthday, but last year for Pahart's birthday, I drew him himself. Like I just I just I just drew a little guy. So I used a a photo from the year before, but I like changed the colors because I was like yeah, this is, you know, this is what my mind decides that, that Potheart wears. So I, like, sketched it all out, and I drew the thing, and then I gave it to him on his birthday. I fucking forgot his fucking glasses. <laughs> this man has had glasses my entire life. <laughs> I fucking forgot he wore them. But I knew that there was something wrong with the photo. <laughs> Anyway, the funny thing was though is that he was wearing exactly what what I drew him in <laughs> Because in my my idea of Pahart, I'm like this man his favorite color is beige, okay, and The only shirts that I can ever remember him wearing are like he like he always had a light blue shirt or a white button-down shirt or a white button-down with blue stripes <laughs> That is it. <laughs> so the only three shirts that, I, I mean, he definitely owns more shirts than that, but those are the ones that have solidified in my mind as being like, this is like um, a staple of Pawheart's like physical existence. Kind of like the fact that apples are green and or red. Uh, that's just, you know, Pawheart wears these shirts and either uh, beige pants or jeans. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> So I drew him in a blue collared short sleeve shirt with pens in his little chest pocket and beige slacks. And then the man fucking shows up at his birthday party wearing that exact outfit. But yeah, I fucking, I fucking forgot that he wore glasses. <laughs> Which I guess, yeah, that's, that's the downside of uh, <clears throat> not being able to see things. It's like, you're like, this is probably right and then like you're like in theory this is correct and then you like see the actual thing and you're like in theory this was in actually this was not correct this this was very wrong Saipa <laughs> uh. is basically a 1950s engineer honestly yes if you can if you can picture that that, that yeah that is like i i would describe him as like that or like if you think of like yeah old school like mathematician he is very like that time period like n nerdy dude his favorite things to do are go for walks and do math problems and um read spy novels yes although he also now uh likes to rebuild motorcycles but <laughs> can you draw uh my model from memory um I could probably get a good amount of it down, but I definitely would not be able to do all the little details and things like that. Like, if I were to, like, try to draw it, I would be like, okay, well, I know what my hair looks like. I know what the colors are. I know I wear a top hat and I have a cravat and I've got a cape. Although I actually probably would forget the cape. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like, I know I've got, like, hearts on my shirt and I know I've got shorts and, and like, thigh-high boots and a little pail and my little ears. Um, but I, I would probably get a lot of like the smaller details like very wrong or just miss them all together. Um, mm -mm -mm. But you want to know the thing that, that, that sucks the most though? The fucking thing that sucks the most? My heart has fucking photographic me <sighs> She has photographic memory. She has, pho she has photographic memory. She also has perfect pitch, which means that she can hear a song and then like replicate it on the fucking violin within like two minutes. Guys, <laughs> guys, I failed to inherit any of the skills. <laughs> Uh, I I have just absolutely failed to get any of the skills that would have been so friggin' useful in my life, okay? <laughs> Good genes skip the generation. <laughs> it's fine. Some bad genes also skip the generation. It's okay. <laughs> You're so jealous of perfect pitch. Yeah. Fucking sane. <laughs> it's okay, though. She can't carry a tune. She can't sing at all. So at least... <laughs> At least I got that. I'll fucking take it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because because uh, Mima can sing really, really well. Except Mima is also like a fucking operatic soprano, so I don't I don't know where I got my range from. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Um, inherited the humor from Paw Heart. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It's bad RNG. Yeah. That it sure is a super sure way to have an inferiority complex. Oh, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> I've talked about Mon Paw Heart a decent amount, but just suffice to say, these are two like S tier level humans who had me and, and Bro Heart, and neither of us is an S tier level <laughs> human. Like, they just took, like, the best possible fucking DNA, and then they, like, had children that just did not live up to their expectations. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's okay. I love them, and they love me. They, they gave up on me a while ago, and <laughs> when I became a nerd and a cosplayer, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah. Like, when I was younger, I was definitely, like, way... Like, I did definitely have an actual complex about it, for sure. <laughs> it was it was definitely a thing. Uh, but, like, at this point in my life, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing well for what I want to be doing. I'm having a good time doing it. And, like, that's that's really all I care about. I don't need to live up to what Ma and Pa Heart, like, did in their lives. Because I'm doing what I want in my life, so we're, we're fine. Also, they once said that they were proud of me, <laughs> like, seven years ago. <laughs> and I, uh, live on that high to this day, so <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. uh, Every younger sibling in your family becomes taller than the older sibling. That is def that yeah that that's a mood. <laughs> you broke that though. I mean, that's fine. That's that's fine. You know, that's you you can just say that you're being respectful. You know, you're being respectful of your older sibling by not outgrowing them at a ridiculous pace. Okay, <laughs> that's what that is. That right? That's you're just you're just being a good sibling. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> uh, because I. I definitely got outgrown by not only Broheart, but also like the youngest cousin of the family is just, they just fucking tower over me. They just, ah, they just, they're, they're, they're too tall and they need to come back down here, okay? No raccoon needs to be that tall. <laughs> mm. ah. They're 5'4", where you're 5'2", so it's not too bad. You'll just be scarier than them. That's also a mood, too. That is a mood. I, the, the shortest person in, in the Hart family is Ma Hart, and she's also the most terrifying person in the Hart family. So that is very true. That is very, very true. Yes, 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 yes. Just measure yourself when you're standing on Pom Pom with your hat on. Yeah, I'd still be fucking shorter than them, Big Red. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? And that should tell you exactly how much they rocketed the fuck past me. Ah! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Grab their nose and drag them back down here with me. No one needs a raccoon that tall. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Absolutely ridiculous. Ah. Oh. Some raccoons are born taller. I know, but it's still stupid, okay? <laughs> it's still stupid. Uh, oh, they're supposed to be younger than me. Therefore, they should be smaller than me. That's how that works, right? <laughs> Blah. Hmm. What is her wisdom? What can I learn from such superior intimidation? To be fair, I have no idea. I just... <sighs> but it has, like, ingrained in me an absolute and eternal fear of all Asian women who are shorter than me. <laughs> Just, just, it, just, they, they, they put on that, well, there's like one specific tone of voice and then they give you a look and I'm just like, all right, we're done here. What do you, what, what do you need? I'll, I'm good. I'll go do it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. My plans. Oh, I didn't have any plans. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're always the tallest. You're like two, two meters. How the, how the fuck? That's 200 centimeters. That's like, like what? Like six. Five or some shit? T 
200 centimeters to feet. Yeah, I was like six point six six five and a half. Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah. You can go over on the shelf with Bro Heart and Cousin Heart. I can't believe this. Why are there so many tall things around me? This is terrible. <sighs> being tall is good and all, but you're missing out on being a grumpy dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Sign would blow up if Pompon grew I would. If Pompon ever decided that he was just magically to grow taller than me, I I would not be okay. I, I would be not okay. Okay, I'm just, just, uh, just no, 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 no. God damn. Uh, although, yeah, you, you, Yuzu, you're, you're the same height as uh, Cousin Heart. <laughs> Who is the youngest fucking cousin? He's like, he's like a decade younger than me, okay? <laughs> this kid is still, like, still a kid. <laughs> this kid is a kid and he's so fucking tall. <sighs> to be fair, he is also fucking fully European bloodlines in this man. But like, still, it's not, it's not fair. <laughs> Not, he's he's he might he might be European, but he's still a fucking raccoon. Okay, he should be he should be respectful, and he should he should be respectful of his elders, and he should he should stop growing. He should be he should be shorter. <laughs> it's your Dutch roots part, yeah. That's yeah. That's that's what fucking Broheart likes to chill on too. It's like oh, it's the, the from it's from Paul Hart's side. It's from Paul Hart's side. You still. Ma heart side too, okay? <laughs> fucking, fucking take some of those Asian genes in, all right? Just, just fucking chill down here with me. God damn it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have him carry heavy stuff? Yeah, no, that's not, that's not, that's not how bro heart and I's relationship <laughs> works. Um, I, I sent him a text today because today is his actual birthday. It's, well, yesterday, I suppose. March 11th was Brohart's birthday. And I was just like, I sent him a text and I was like, happy actual birthday. <laughs> and he texted back, thanks, happy face. And you want to know what the text before that was? What do you want for Christmas? Happy face. Christmas list. Happy face. Cool. This is what I want. Happy face. And the one before that? Happy birthday, Scion. <laughs> Happy face. Thanks. Happy face. So this is this is my relationship with Bro Heart. Um, now I, I've said before, like I would straight up die for him if he needed me to. Like I love him. He is my little brother, right? Uh, do you call and talk to each other? No, we do not. <laughs> this man also straight up bullied me during high school. Okay. <laughs> This man is a jock. This man is, is, you know, all, uh, okay. He's very smart, but a jock. All right. And I'm, I'm, I created the anime club at the high school. I fucking was in cosplay stuff for my 12th grade photo. All right. <laughs> we were very different people. We are still very different people. Um, so yes, I love Broheart very much. Uh, but we are not like... <laughs> You know, we're not those siblings that, like, could feasibly live together and not try to murder one another. <laughs> That's not how that works. Mm -hmm. Bro messed up in character creation. I mean, I feel like most of the world would assume that he won in character creation. Um, but, like, I, I, I also agree that I think that he messed up in character creation. So... <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Just T-pose to assert your dominant skill as the older sister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like... I got him into anime for a little bit when he was in uni because I was like, Hey, do you want to like, here, let's watch some like fucking Cowboy Bebop. It'll be fun, I promise. <laughs> and then he also got into... Oh god. There was... Oh... That time period. What the fuck was it called? I don't know. There was another... There was a couple other things that were like... Had similar vibes to Cowboy Bebop that like... I like sort of shoehorned him into so that he couldn't say that he'd never watched anime and that I was a loser for liking it. <laughs> so he he doesn't watch a lot of it now. Um, but he has seen some so he can't say shit. <laughs> Would he enjoy Helsing? He might. He might enjoy Helsing, honestly. Um... He is more for like, God, like he, he's, 
he's very much a normie. He's he's very much a normie. Uh, so like, if you can think of like anime series that like normies might like that aren't like too like super whatever, like he'd be fine. As far as I know, no, I I have lived with this man <laughs> in our adult lives for a little bit. Uh, like when he was in uni, when I was saying that I got, I, I made him watch some anime stuff. That was literally because he could not escape me. <laughs> he was living with me because I used him to kick my, um, roommate at the time out. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's very much a normie <laughs> to this day. Um, he, he has, like, expensive art on his wall instead of posters. Like an actual grown-up. Um... Yeah, he, he has a kitchen knife set and knows how to cook. Uh, he he plays some video games, but it's like like FIFA and like League of Legends. And uh, like if his friends ask him to play something else, he might play something else. To be fair, he, he did play a lot of games growing up because like we played them together a lot of the time. Um, but yes, no, he is he is very, very normie core. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. To be fair, can anyone escape you? I mean, I I am very good at living in walls, but, you know, <laughs> you can try. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The cooking part is suspicious. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, I fucking agree there. Who doesn't have a kitchen knife set? <clears throat> Acrafius? Whose stream are you in right now? <laughs> Do you... Do you think that I own a kitchen knife set? Do, do you think that I own knives? <laughs> I do own knives, but I do not own a set. <laughs> I, I own one singular knife that is sort of sharp <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I don't actually know. I've only ever used it to open containers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How do you cook or eat? I can't cook. Uh, there, there is no cooking to be done in this apartment. How do I eat? Take out and frozen food. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I had pizza for dinner before stream today that I bought yesterday, and I've got two more slices of pizza that I will have after stream probably. Um, I've got soup that I can put in the microwave. I've got more soup that I can put in the microwave. I've got some frozen dinners. I've got an air. I do have an air fryer. You are right, still red. I do. I do own an air fryer. So I eat chicken strips and pierogies and fries. How are you alive right now? No one really knows, honestly. <laughs> no one really knows. How are you with cans? Um, I did have a can opener. It is gone now. That may or may not also be what I use the knife for. Um, <clears throat> but I don't, I don't tend to use a ton of things that are canned just because I can get stuff that's boxed that is like easier anyway and has less sodium in it. As much as like I do need to increase my sodium anyway because I have low blood pressure, um, I figure like I would rather do that in a meal that has like some pretend green stuff that comes in a frozen box or something instead of like, I don't know, SpaghettiOs or like a Chef Boyardee ravioli can. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you want to invite one of your friends over? <clears throat> the only people who have been into my apartment are Mon Pahart and like the friend who helped me move in here, who's like was my previous roommate. So like she's been in here because she helped me move and then she took some of my plants. And then uh, one friend who I just straight up let live with me for a while because. Uh, she, she, her, like, lease, question mark, was up, and she had to, like, wait for a month to move into a new place. Um, that is it. <clears throat> Grand total of four people. Well, I guess five if you count Bro Hart, but he's only been here for, like, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, total of five people have been into this apartment, other than me, in, in the, like, couple of years that I've lived here. <laughs> How's my sodium levels? They're not high enough. They're, they're not high enough. Honestly, if it was anyone other than me, uh, living the way that I live would probably lead to, like, death. Uh, but somehow the fact that I need to increase my sodium levels, even though I eat nothing except prepared food, therefore with things with very high sodium levels, is kind of insanity. Um, but yeah, I, I just happen to have, like, 
really, really low blood pressure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it actually somehow works out for me. Somehow one of my chronic health conditions uh, actively allows me to not have to cook. <laughs> have a good night, Kumo. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> we should swab. You eat spicy and uh, salty and spicy, but you're told to back off. No, we're not fucking swabbing. I love spicy and I love salty, so fuck right off. This is mine. It's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> have you considered playing League of Legends? Uh, I, I played a fuck ton of League of Legends in previous years. I don't play it very much anymore. I play it every once in a while. Um... I think I've been in collabs with League like two or three times since debut. Uh, I am very toxic when I play League of Legends. <laughs> I am very open about the fact that I'm very toxic when I play League of Legends. Um, not towards my own team, but towards the other team, definitely. Like a hundred, like immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's, there's no universe that I, in which I think that I am like a positive League of Legends player. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but like I, I played a ton of it um, when it first came out, question mark. <laughs> like I played a ridiculous amount of League of Legends when like Caitlyn was considered a new champion. You know, back in the day with the cute little turtle shells and shit for items. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I used to play a fuck ton of League of Legends. Uh, and then I just like stopped for many years. <laughs> now I'm not very good at the game anymore, but that's fine. <laughs> I only ever play it when other people want to now, so I think that that's okay. I just have to tell them beforehand that they please need to expect that I will do absolutely nothing. Um, and then we're good. We're good. As long as they don't go in with any expectations, it's fine. You're toxic. You've seen the League of Legends shorts? Yeah. Like I said, uh, I, I will never be able to say that I am not a toxic League player. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. MOBA does that to you, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if you guys watch, for those of you who have been here for a bit or with us for a little bit, um, you there there was a League of Legends collab in which the talent some of us played against uh, the staff from VNU. I think that that was the the moment when I realized that I'm like irredeemably toxic playing League of Legends because. If you listen really, really closely to us in the background, thank God we're quiet because it was casted over by Kogune Senpai. Uh, you can hear me like swearing <laughs> at staff. <laughs> like just, just like going in on every single person. <laughs> was just like, I was like, oh, I need to like not play this game. It makes me a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really bad. Uh, there was one where half the time you could hear you and Echo just going at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was Patrick there? He was. I think he was casting with Kokune Senpai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never played o the O word. Um, I played just a tiny little bit of Overwatch when it first came out. Um, specifically because I used to not, I like when, back when I did cosplay stuff, I refused to ever cosplay from a game or show that I had not watched or played. Uh, so I dipped my finger into Overwatch, but not like in any serious capacity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just, you know, just enough to say that like I had, right? You know, <laughs> does that make sense? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, because that's that's just kind of I don't know. I just I I always felt like uh, if I don't if I don't know something about like something, then like what is the point in me trying to like put ridiculous amounts of time and money into making things for it? I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or not. <laughs> that might just be a my brain thing. Mm -mm. Who won that league game? We did. The talents did. Yeah. Somehow I don't fucking know how, but we did. We did. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so there's a big purple butt Scion cosplay out there. You don't know which character I did, and you never will. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But somewhere, somewhere out there on the internet, <laughs> there's some sort of character. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> At least you're not the most toxic in VNU. 
I would put me up there, but yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say I'm the most toxic. I definitely am probably one of the girlies who's known the most for raging. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I I don't know. I at least I try the salt is worse than the toxic, yeah. <laughs> I think generally speaking, the thing I'm like the thing that makes me the most toxic is league. Uh other than that, generally I just like rage at stuff. I'm not necessarily like toxic. I would like to pretend. I would like to hope question mark. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not actually I feel like I can't judge myself accurately though. I don't know, I don't know about that. I'll leave that to you guys. I don't know. I don't know if that counts. Like, I don't know if I can actually judge myself and say that because, like, I'm obviously biased, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm obviously biased. I don't want to say, like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, the, the the pinnacle of salt or, like, the the pinnacle of rage or whatever. I'm just I'm not going to I'm not gonna fucking put myself out there. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure that there's someone who's saltier than me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Not the biggest rager that belongs to a certain robot. Yeah, but Echo's so fucking cute when she rages. <laughs> When's part two of the Jump King race, by the way? Fucking never. Fuck, fucking, fucking never. Just no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Although, the idea of Jump Games may or may not have returned to my planning board for my birthday in two months. So, that that's the next time that you may or may not end up ever seeing a fucking jump game because I hate that shit so much. Oh my god, I do. Everything is fine. Your subjective opinion may have bias but that in and of itself is, uh, is not in and of itself a bias. Yes, it has bias in it. Therefore, I do also have biases because I am Tanuki. I am not. I am. I am not a, a strangely impartial being who is on the outside of my own life. <laughs> it's pretty much exactly two months from now. Yeah. It, yeah. Essentially, just just barely squeaking under two months now. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what goes on. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've started planning, I've started to, like, put ideas together. Because, like, I know myself, and I know that if I let myself, I'm gonna procrastinate like a motherfucker. So, uh, I need to actually get on top of it, and start looking into things, and start, like, you know, doing, doing, doing things, and putting things together. Otherwise, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna. And then it's gonna be, like, a week before, and I'm gonna be like, Oh, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? So... Yes. Uh-huh. Do you know how many days it will be? Um, my current plan is to do the weekend. Yes, to do the weekend. So three days. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you, thank you for the soup. I appreciate it. I heard less appreciate the message. Just money for that. I want to be the guy straight. I heard it was coming soon to you. You know, it's, it's a thing. Will it? I don't. I don't know. It, it, how, if you've heard it's coming soon, that that bird might have been incredibly incorrect. I don't know about that. No. Mm -mm -mm. Knowing you, you'll just try to zatsu the game playtime away. <laughs> I feel like you guys wouldn't let me in that case. I feel like there, there's there's got to be like a pause the time button or something. It was pretty funny to have the Jump King collab as an ad. <laughs> That's um, yeah, I, yeah, that, that collab certainly did exist. That collab certainly did exist. Yeah, mm -hmm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, that is, it is, it is one of the things that is on the list. And, uh, yeah, Jello Noel was, uh, asking how many days and the current plan is three. We'll see if that ends up being the final plan or not, but that's kind of what, I was thinking, I, ah, I can't, I can't be as, as absolutely balls to the walls as Surrey and go for like five days consecutively. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I could handle that. I don't know if I, I might just simply pass away 
after that much existing. Um, mm -mm. So I figured I would att uh, attempt for, for three. Um, but that is, of course, only also if I can figure out what the heck to do for that long. <laughs> you know? You know? Mm -mm. Put some ideas in the noggin and figure that out. But I, that's why I'm starting now, you know? That's why I'm starting it now instead of, like... <laughs> doing what I would usually do and waiting for a little bit longer just to make sure that I can actually kind of get all my ducks in a row um are those ducks probably going to actually end up being like geese or like painted plastic somehow probably everything is gonna go terribly awry there's there's a zero percent chance that everything is gonna go exactly as planned but I felt like it was probably a good idea to have some sort of plan beforehand. <laughs> and at least so I could have, like, some of the things, like, ready to go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Guess you'll have to take days off work that week? Nope. 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 Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've got it all figured out. Got it all figured out. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't you worry. I have all of the brain. One brain cell, but all of the brain. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, <clears throat> I don't have that plug in like DK had, so it's fine. You got this emote for a reason after all? Yeah, because I like arson. Just fire. And arson and stuff. It's definitely it. There's, there's no other reason at all. It's fine. Mm, 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 mm. Brrrr. I get concerned when people say they have it all figured out. Do not be concerned. For, no, you don't need to be concerned. It's fine. Stream elements? Oh, no. Uh, so I guess... Uh, I guess I guess I, I was going to say, like, I oh, right, 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 brain. Not everyone was at that moment. Um, <clears throat> so DK, uh, day three of her um, birthday stream. For some reason, I be she thinks it's one of the plugins that she had, but for some reason, uh, just that one day of stream, it decided that no, she did not in fact own the actual copy of it anymore. And like, it decided to revert to the, the free version um, for the beginning of her stream until she figured it out and had to put the, the access code back in to like, once again, be like, no, I... I bought you. <laughs> you were expensive. Please work properly. Um, but it because it thought it was like the free version, every one minute exactly, it was playing like a white noise TV static moment. Um, and when it played this moment, because it was a plug-in for her mic, it would mute her. So it would just like randomly censor something that she said every minute on the minute. And she couldn't hear it. So at first, she thought that, like, chat was fucking with her. <laughs> because we were like, dude, dude, what? Also, like, we didn't know at first. We were all just like, is this part of her, th is this part of her thing? Is this, is this a thing? <laughs> um, yeah, it was really funny, but, like... <laughs> She spent the first, like, hour of her stream <laughs> trying to fucking pr <laughs> troubleshoot stuff and, like, get things working again, and yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> but DK could be a thing. Right, that's the thing! A lot of us thought it was a bit! It's fucking DK! <laughs> mm -hmm. You thought it was a comedy bit. I did too! And at first, it only went off, like, with donos coming in from stream elements, right? So it was be like, so-and-so -so donated right and like so we were just like oh okay like cool it's it's her like it's 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 the alert sound right um but it was not in fact the alert sound <laughs> uh and but it was really funny though because sometimes she would say things like oh like i need to go to that and it would just like at, like essentially censor out the next word and you were just like nice good timing <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scuff Corp Commander. Glad her birthday went well afterwards. Yeah, she did get it all figured out. And she like, you know, she she immediately attacked the issue head on. I honestly probably would have just been like, all right, cool guys, this is the thing. <laughs> this is where we are now, congratulations. 
Um, it's definitely a bit. Yeah, it's de it's definitely on purpose. Everything is fine. You know, uh, it's specifically so that we can see if we can get like weirdly timed bits for clips. Um, yeah, it's 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 meaningful and and definitely on purpose. Uh, and then like maybe I would try to figure out what it was. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> If it was like really loud or blowing people's eardrums or something, I probably would. Which hers was originally. <laughs> You're amazingly authentic. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it would be very obvious that it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I yeah, I don't think anyone would believe me. There's not a single fucking person who would believe me. But <clears throat> who's more powerful, DK Scion or another VNU girl? I want to say that I'm not the most scuffed. I am definitely scuffed, but I don't think I'm the most scuffed. I think. I would like to think, you know? Mm -mm. Knowing our luck, it would happen on an ASMR stream. Oh, please, no. Please, please don't speak that into the world. <laughs> please don't speak that into the world. I'm still trying to figure out how to do those. <laughs> I don't need another complication. Oh, I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need that. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I was, although I was, I was thinking about ASMR and that made me think about some of the Gen 5 girlies, uh, have put out like little scripted videos and ASMR-y things. Yeah, I'm so, I was so excited for them to debut you guys. It's so close. It's so close. Just a couple more days. Just a couple more days. We're almost there. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Mm -hmm. So there's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's four more days. And then it's time. It's time. It's time for the newest Kohai to drop. And I'm so fucking excited. You don't even understand. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably, I've got, I've got two streams that day. Do I know how the fuck I ended up with two streams on a day that I usually don't even stream? No, I have no fucking clue. But I've got two streams that day after the debuts. And you best believe I am going to talk all about the fucking debuts, even though neither of those streams is about the debuts. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was, I was so excited. They're so heggin' cute. You guys are gonna love them. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are gonna love them just as much as I do. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The debut two days after your birthday. Ooh, that's a good birthday present. But happy upcoming birthday, Juice Box. Happy upcoming birthday. <laughs> when are they debuts? It is Saturday. It is happening on Saturday, on Saturday, on Saturday. Brrr. Saturday, March 16th. I believe Serenity is going first. Don't quote me on that, but I'm I'm nearly certain that Serenity is going first and she starts at noon PST. I want to say noon PST. <laughs> let me let me actually just like heckin check that. <laughs> Serenity. Yeah, noon. Okay. I was correct. Yes, 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 yes. She starts, um, I believe she does start off the relay at noon on the 16th. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's so soon. <laughs> How are her pigtails so big? They're full of secrets. <laughs> the elephant girl is charming. Oh, Mevi is adorable. She's yeah. They're they're all. Oh my god. There's a fluff in my eyeball. Oh no. <laughs> yes, they're they're uh, they're super cute. I've already said this a good number of times, but like I love Gen Four. Gen Four are fantastic eyes, but they're definitely more like cool than they are cute for for the most part you know like they're they have cute moments they can do cute things zelly is very cute uh but as a whole you know the gen is just like so they're so cool right they're just there's they're so friggin cool and then gen 5 is they're 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 they're, they're so cute they're so fucking cute the only one that i would even consider cool in gen 5 is is um maybe roa <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. 
But the rest of them, the rest of them are just so, they're so cute. They're just, they give me so much cuteness aggression, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, 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 they're great. They're fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. For me, you, it's, uh, brrr, um, someone and Roa. <laughs> Chicky knows mean power is really high. Oh, Chicky is so cute, man. They're, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to be able to meet them properly and hang out with them. Serenity is a nut job. Serenity is a bunny. <laughs> is anyone surprised? I feel like no one can be surprised about that. I, like, I feel like that's every bunny. Serenity is a fantastic bunny, though. She is, she is, she is the best. I love her so much. <laughs> you know, Mizma, the biggest pop in VNU, but her Gatmoy, though? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> We all love Mizzy. Mm -hmm. Gen 4 is like an all-female Black Ops unit. <laughs> in some ways, yes. In some ways, for sure. No, it does not stand for another Alcoholics Anonymous. No, that is incorrect. Very incorrect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is every bunny VTuber absolutely insane? Yeah, that's... That's true, and I can't say anything about it. I can't, I really can't say anything about it. What is Gen 3? Pure chaos? I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm biased. I, I, I think that Gen 3 is also very cute, you know? Because, like, Echo is fucking adorable. She's so easy to fluster. She's so heckin' cute. Same thing with Mita, and Mita gives, like, the best bratty little sister energy, and she's so fucking cute, and she's so heckin' say-so, and I love her so much. And then Suri is, like, adorable, and she's soft-spoken, but so smart, and she's, like, the little sister that you just want to spoil because she's just too cute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know if I would call Maeve cute, you know? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that I would call Maeve cute. Like, she has her cute moments, you know? But like, I think that like, Maeve would be more on the like, cool side of it. I think, I think Maeve is more cool than she is cute. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. Serenity is basically the rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, but turned into a VTuber girl. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. The, uh... The, uh, oh god, what is the, the, the some, something of Canterbo, the, I don't remember what they actually call it, but it's, a, yeah, they, they kill a rabbit. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's okay, it's okay. None of you guys has a holy hand grenade, so that we, we, we know that she's stuck here for a really, really long time with us, and that's how we appreciate and want it to stay. Yes. So, no one is allowed to bring a holy hand grenade to debut. All right, thank you very much. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. Maybe it's more on the charming side Like you'd giggle if something silly happened Yeah, maybe it's so cringe that she's cute Like I said, she has her cute moments I don't know if she would be like Fully considered like cute though Especially not in the way that like Gen 5 or Sir Yermita is You know, it's like a different type of cute That like isn't a traditional cute If that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, 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 yes. Brrr. Although I realize I should probably actually get into the game. I should probably, I should probably get into the game. <sighs> Where I put this holy hand grenade? Then I don't know, Spike Wolf. Just you know, don't don't bring it near the bunny. It's not allowed near the bunny. So Renny gets to bring a hand grenade. I mean, if she wants to. If she wants to, that's her own prerogative, you know? The rule doesn't necessarily apply to her. It's just that, like, other people can't bring them into that area. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You say say-so wouldn't last long with us? I mean, you'd think that, but Mita still say so. Mita still say so. She's still, she's still very, very cute. And say so. She does not know many a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why doesn't Gen 3 each adopt and coach a Gen 5 and have them fight? <laughs> no! What? Oh my gosh. See, depending on the game, too, that would just be a terrible idea because certain people are just, like, really good at certain things. That's, that would go so badly. That would be... That would, that's so <laughs> that would just end up being so badly. You had to laugh after the ASMR stream when we manually raided Mita and she immediately started to scream. Yeah, that's why I that's why I did not raid Mita. And that's why I gave the warning of like, if you come to this stream, it will be very loud. <laughs> that's that's why that happened, you know? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Eric, thank you, thank you for returning to the Palm Crew. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And if you should really be asleep, you should go to sleep. You don't gotta stay up. That's what the VOD is for. <laughs> I do appreciate it though. I do. Thank you. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Mm. <laughs> Who would you pick though hypothetically out of Gen 5? For what though? Like did, uh, th there would be like different reasons that you would per like want a specific person to like hang out with you, you know? That's like no there's no one who would pick me for every given situation. Like that's that's not how that works. Mm -hmm. For chaos? Like, for causing chaos, I would probably specifically pick... I'd say Serenity or Tomomi, maybe. But if it was, like, for someone to rob a bank with, I would pick Chiki. Mm -mm -mm. But if it was for, like, planning things or, like, talking about, like, daily life or, like, working, then it would be Roa. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. For an underground fighting ring... I would probably say... Same as Chaos, honestly. Serenity or Tomomi? Uh, <laughs> I think that it would have to be those guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Younger Scion seems to be intimidating. She could be a coach. She probably would not be a very good coach either. <laughs> would she be intimidating? Sure, yeah, but I don't think she'd be a very good coach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry, no luck. I hope you're having a good time, but if you, oh, you guys, I do appreciate people hanging out. But like, if you need to go to sleep, please make sure that you're going to sleep. Sleep is very important. <laughs> if you don't get enough sleep, then you you're not gonna be awake and happy tomorrow. And I don't want you to curse the clouds and your past self. You know, I curse my past self all the time. I curse past Sion every day. Okay. <laughs> Don't be me. Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> I think I got four hours of sleep like, last night. Not on purpose. Um, but just because I, uh, I... I accidentally started streaming with Mida last night. Or I guess this morning. And... Um, I was I was meant to go to bed at like 5.30 a.m. And then I was up on her stream until like 6.30 or 6.45 or something a.m. <laughs> And then I needed to, you know, get ready for bed. And then I was like, I could read a little bit of manga before I go to sleep. And that was a really bad idea because I didn't read just a little bit of manga before I went to sleep. Uh, so yeah, I got like four hours of sleep last night. <laughs> so yes, do as I say and not as I do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> the feeling is mutually be angry at past you, but past you would also probably slam current me with a metal chair and I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's also true. The human body can survive indefinitely on four hours of sleep. Yes, um, technically, massively decreased immune system, though. Yeah, and ability to like think on your feet uh, and like logically problem solve well. Um, <clears throat> all of which are things that I really cannot um, lose. <laughs> I really, I really don't need a decrease in any of those abilities. So, mm -mm -mm. so I, I try very hard. <laughs> Try very hard to get six to eight hours of sleep so that I can like at least pretend that I exist. I can I can at least pretend I exist, you know? Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> also just not having a good time. Yeah, I also yeah, don't need any help becoming like more fatigued. <laughs> Energy is nice to have every once in a while, you know? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> in the military, they always four hours sleep, eight hours awake cycle. So, like, you'd get four hours of sleep and then you'd be awake for eight hours and you get four hours of sleep and then you're awake for eight hours? Like that? That seems... I mean... Not the worst, but... Also... I mean, I guess if you're doing a lot of physical activity, you would be tired enough to sleep after only eight hours. I guess. Uh, but like I feel like that's Okay someone also mentioned cult So I'm specifically assuming it's to like Help with Indoctrination Question mark um, Like to like lower Inhibitions or make people more susceptible To like you know 
I feel or like to set a very specific um, schedule and like pattern of of day to day activity. Obviously, I'm talking out my ass because I don't actually know anything about this, but that would be my best guess based solely on the fact that it's used in both military and cults and something that both of those have in common is that you generally want the people who are involved in those systems to like have a very specific outlook and be able to take orders really well um it's kind of for the mindset yeah okay that yeah that's that's kind of what my initial thought was there uh, doesn't your mom run one? I don't know. It's 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 a it's a scion theory, okay? <laughs> I I am like pretty sure that she is accidentally the head of a cult, okay? But like I, I it's not it's not a confirmed thing, right? Hello, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Eric. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Brrr. Da, 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 da. Does Scion work out? Not really. <laughs> um, I don't drive though either. So I get a decent amount of exercise just based on the fact that I walk everywhere. I walk everywhere. I walk to and from Raccoon World work to the grocery store to any other store I need to go to. Um, even when I just go get coffee or something or it's going out for snacks. So I walk all over the place. Um, <clears throat> and I am... <sighs> I, uh, and I have planned to actually get more exercise. Not for exercise's sake, but specifically to increase my lung capacity because I started taking singing lessons for the first time in my life. Um, or, well, I've taken one singing lesson and I have another one booked <laughs> in like a week or a week and a half or something. Um, yeah, so I figured that if I'm gonna like go and do that, I might as well like put my all into it and like try to also you know, like, increase things like lung capacity or things like that. Swimming would help. I fucking hate swimming. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at swimming. I mean, I'm okay at swimming. Um, I grew up pretty close to uh, many bodies of water uh, in a lot of different places that I grew up. Uh, I've said this before, but, like, when I was young, when I say young, I just mean, like, school-aged, we moved every, like, year or two. Um... So I live, I've lived all over the place. Um, but a lot of the time we, we did uh, live near bodies of water, be that an ocean or a lake or a river or something like that. So I did grow up swimming and I'm a decently strong swimmer. Um, I finished all of the, uh, depends on where you live, I suppose. Um, but a lot of different like places when you have like a pool or whatever, you can get like levels of swimming, like certifications. Um, so I finished all of those. And the only thing that was left over was like, if I wanted to get a lifeguard certification or a diving certification, and I did not care to get either of those. Um, so I don't think I would be considered a strong swimmer anymore, given that I don't really do it. Um, but... <laughs> I can, I can swim at least enough to, like, get myself from point A to point B and not die. <laughs> if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't really like swimming. <laughs> I don't really like swimming. Um, I don't know. There's, there's just, you're in the water and there's, like, a bunch of, people around and I don't, I, don't, I don't I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it at all it's, it's, if you go in a lake then it's, it's just, it's just there's fish and seaweed and shit and things are touching you and it's gross and I don't like it <laughs> don't like it also uh, I've almost been drowned a couple of times uh and and when I say been drowned I mean like specifically that people have tried to drown me a couple of times <laughs> Uh, so that probably also has something to do with the fact that I don't like being in water too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Um, they both happened in like elementary, middle school. So like pretty young in my life. I'm pretty sure I've told, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've at least mentioned it once before. No chance I've gone this long without mentioning it. But uh, one of them was in... Gosh, I want to say second grade. I think it was in second grade. Um, 
because it was in the teachers like the teacher had a pool in their backyard and at the end of the school year uh they held like a party at their house as like a end of the year field trip slash celebration uh if you can't tell this particular area was decently well off um and uh so yeah she she had this like party in the backyard terrible fucking idea because not enough people are paying attention to the fribbing second graders in the goddamn swimming pool okay um <clears throat> also at this point in my life i did have a uh people would say an, an admirer um i called him a stalker and uh you know, I mean, we're, we're fucking children, but uh, he happened to have a, um, like, a, the daycare was, like, right across from where we lived at the time. Thank God we fucking moved really soon after this happened, but his daycare was really close to where we lived, like, across the street, so he knew where I lived. And, and he would just, like, show up and, like, knock on the door and be like, oh, Mahart, Pahart, we're Scion. And they would be like, not here. <laughs> So he'd like follow me around and like it was unfun. Uh did not I was uh, just fucking done with it. But like I'm trying to be a good Tanuki, you know? I'm try I'm trying not to beat up the strange raccoon child fucking following me around for no reason. Anyway, lost puppy, yeah, essentially. Um But like to like a way way past anything that is acceptable even for a child honestly um yeah and then at one point he followed me into the pool at this uh, year-end like party turns out though that he couldn't swim um yeah he couldn't he couldn't swim <laughs> so he followed me into the deep end uh and then when he remembered that he could not in fact swim he decided that since we were obviously such close friends, we were fucking not. <laughs> we were fucking not. He decided to stand on my shoulders <laughs> and hold my head down when I was trying to get up. He would like crouch and like push my head back down and um, so that he could breathe. <laughs> And I had to be pulled out of the pool by a parent because the teacher was not paying attention either. And so the parent had to jump into the pool fully clothed, <laughs> pull him the fuck off me and then get me out of the pool. Uh, <laughs> so that was that was time one. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that was that was time one. Um, drowning people always pull you down with them. This was not pull, though. This <laughs> This was push. This was like, oh, your head's coming up above the water too. No, you stuck. You fucking stay down there. Um, yeah. Uh, so that was the first time I was almost drowned, and then the second time was like, you couldn't even say that we were like little kids because this was in like middle school, bordering on high school age, and um, this particular time happened because I was best friends with the girl that this girl wanted to be best friends with, and she thought that the best way to become best friends with my best friend was to drown me <clears throat> so that was fun <laughs> mm -hmm. um so like i don't know if you guys know what a bulkhead is but in in certain pools um it's the thing that like they, they they tend to float but they're like wall like floating walls and a lot of places have them separating like two parts of a pool uh usually like a deeper end and a shallower end sort of keep people out sort of idea um but because they float usually there's like a a cup like a foot at minimum and like a couple of feet at maximum space underneath them now a lot of kids and teenagers in uh, this other particular area that i lived in uh would like dare each other to swim under it sort of thing and and like go you could go underneath it back and forth and you had to be like a good swimmer to be able to do it because it was like it like it was like it's a whole fucking wall it's not it's not like you're going down a tiny bit you have to like go down and essentially like drag yourself along the bottom of the pool and then swim back up um <clears throat> so she told me to do that 
she had another friend there as well. And so I went underneath because I'd done it a thousand times. It really wasn't much of a problem. And um, she guarded the side that I was trying to come out of. And her friend was guarding the side on the other side. So every time I would try to like swim back out underneath the bulkhead, they would like guard the area to make sure I couldn't come out. <laughs> Um, so that was fun and definitely not panic inducing at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this, this is like why when people are like, teenagers are psychopaths. I'm like, I can't disagree with that because, <laughs> because man, some of the things that either like I had people do to me when I was a teenager or like some of the things that like went through my mind as a teenager or things that I thought were acceptable to do are like not <laughs> they're they're like not you know <laughs> um we became best friends soon after right no 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 we did not I <laughs> I did not talk to this girl for the, the last like half a year that I lived there and then we moved <laughs> so <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yeah no I uh, just yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so like that's that's the two times as to times I've I've almost been drowned in my life, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I'm not <laughs> not 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 fond of the water. <laughs> I can swim just fine, but yeah, uh, it, like if if friends go to the beach or something, I I'll go and like maybe I'll like walk around in the water. I guess if there's not a like fuck ton of seaweed or something. Um, but my idea of a good time is like not to go out into the water unless for example I went to somewhere like that I haven't been before right like if we were going to I don't fucking know where's the water nice uh no no never mind last time I went in the water when I went to a an area in the south was also not great <clears throat> um yeah so I guess if I went to like Hawaii or something and there was like snorkeling with with like sea animals or something that weren't gonna kill me then i would get in the water um but yeah i was i was thinking about like oh like maybe if i went to like mexico or i went to costa rica again or something and then i remembered about the one time i did get in the water or the two times i did get in the water in costa rica and one time we were body surfing and uh some sort of manta something or other ended up like i was like in the water and then it was like right above me and then we had to like clear the beach um so that was fun and then the second time uh they made us go surfing and i don't have good balance uh, so I just got hit in the head by a surfboard a bunch of times and I'm pretty sure I ended up with a concussion But I'm not certain because I didn't actually get ever checked for that Um, because when we got back to the place that we were staying at Uh, turns out that the house ended up being full of ants and we had to go find another place to stay So we didn't I didn't really have time to figure that out <laughs> So I guess those were another another two times. I didn't have a good time in the water <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah me and water are not friends <laughs> i think it looks really pretty i like being like i like just like looking at water like lakes are really nice they're calming rivers are super cool especially when you get rapids and stuff i don't mind being on the water like i've gone um white rotter rafting before and that was really fun and i used to like like kayaking and canoeing and stuff um but yeah, I don't really like being in the water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Surfed and antsy, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't very good at surfing. <laughs> I I did better than some people, but like, yeah, my luck is just not great. So every time I fell into the water, the surfboard came and hit me. So <laughs> it was definitely just not my cup of tea. How about fishing? I used to go fishing a ton as a kid. Yeah, uh, -uh. one of the very first... Um, one of the very first videos I ever got from Pawheart. So he took all of like the VHSs and shit from when we were kids. And he uh, turned them into like CDs and stuff. So him and Maheart can look at them still. Um, and one of them is just straight up me as like a, I don't know, fucking like a three year old or something. And I've got a ruler, like a, like a, I don't even know if it's a ruler. Maybe it's like a, like the paint sticks, like the things that you like, the, it's just like a wooden, flat wooden stick that you mix paint cans with. So it was like one, something like that with a hole in it and a piece of like fishing wire tied to the end of it and then like a little hook <clears throat> and I have that <laughs> instead of an actual fishing rod though I did end up we, uh, we all had fishing rods growing up um, and it's just Paw Heart going 
Scion, Scion, what a fish eat. And and I'm just sitting there as like a, a little three year old with my, my cute little fishing rod, like hot dogs. <laughs> because I guess that's what I was using instead of like worms or things like that on my like shitty little toddler fishing rod. <laughs> Is they were just giving me little pieces of hot dog on the end of this thing. I apparently had caught a couple of fish because there there are photos of me at that age with my little stupid little like fishing rod and and some like little baby fish. But yeah, no, we used to go fishing a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, usually like in in lakes or rivers. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. So I've only gone open ocean fishing once, and it was on a family vacation as an adult, and it was not good. <laughs> Mainly because it was the time that I learned that my seasickness is actually very, very bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mm -mm, which I've, I've told that story for sure already. Um, but yeah, did, the, the, suffice to say, the trip did not end well. They did catch a fish, uh, and I apologized profusely. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to stick to my, my lakes and rivers and, and staying on the banks of things and fishing off of stuff as opposed to like being on a... A uh, boat in open water. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, fishing is nice. Um, especially like if you make a day out of it, you know, you go out to a really nice area. It's nice and quiet. You can just like chill. You can bring some snacks. You can have a book or like if you're there with a couple other people and just like chill and hang out. I think it's like it's a nice it's a nice time to like spend some like chill quality time with people. Mm, mm, mm. But like to be fair, it's not like I get out of the house much, so I can't say I've done that in a while. <laughs> and Sportball, thank you, thank you for returning to the Tricksters. I appreciate it. Glad to have been gifted two months of Tanuki membership by the wonderful informants. Also, have you heard duct tape is a good wart remover? I have not. Is that a thing? Why is that a thing if it is a thing? And like, would you like, like, as in like you put it on and you like rip it off and it takes like the root out or like you put it on and you leave it on and it suffocates it. That's really interesting. I, I don't know how that would work. I don't know why anyone would test that, but like, it's interesting. <laughs> open ocean uh, is f uh, open ocean. <laughs> open ocean fishing is fun unless you have seasickness or hate not seeing land. Yeah, I've got seasickness so uh but yeah uh Pahart really liked it so he was having a good time and ripped to him I suppose so it was a saw blade but I wouldn't try it <laughs> I, I suppose that is true I suppose that that is true there's a lot of things that would probably get rid of something it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a good way to do it um Although I, I realized I said like I wonder who would try like who who would try that and then I realized that like not everywhere has affordable and or free healthcare <laughs> so uh, now I understand where and why people might try that um, yeah because I didn't really consider that before. Ma ma ma. Two holes in your knee from a fishing hook? How, were you fly fishing or what? How, how did that get into your knee? You prefer dry ice things for warts? Mm. I think that's the usual way that, that people, like if you go to a doctor's office, then they use dry ice and they just essentially like freeze it off. Ugh. But I guess if like you live in a place where that's expensive, then like maybe it wouldn't be your go-to. Mm. Would you? Would I what? Use duct tape? I mean, I haven't had like a wart since I was in elementary. And that was because if you go to like swimming pools and stuff, they're transferable. So if some anyone with one goes to a pool and then you step in that area, there's a chance that you could get one. So I used to get them when I was a kid and I would go to swimming pools. I guess that's another reason that I don't like swimming pools. <laughs> I'm just finding so many reasons to just never go to a swimming pool again. <laughs> uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, yeah, so like, I always got them dry iced off because, you know, it was it was not inaffordable 
to do so. But I don't I don't know what the going price is in in like the human world or in the human world America or things like that. So mm -mm -mm -mm. you've used duct tape as um like improvised bandages before. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Duct tape is uh, military grade technology. Technically, there's a lot of things that are technically military grade technology, like fucking smarties. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or I guess technically that was M and M's, wasn't it? I think it was M and M's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't look at health experts' opinions on swimming pools. Oh uh, yeah, just just don't do that. If you if you like swimming and you like going to swimming pools, never ever ever look up anything scientific on swimming pools it is just a really really bad time do not do it <laughs> for your own sanity just don't do it yeah uh 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 take sign to the woods instead of the beach yes yes <clears throat> not even as a joke like <laughs> i would have much more fun in the woods than i than i would uh a beach yeah mm -hmm. although like a lake surrounded by woods is really nice. Ah, uh, uh, uh. They're nice, they're nice. Yes, yes, yes. Take sign to the library. I would also appreciate a library. <laughs> I think one of my uh, one of my dreams for a really long time was to have a room that was like just books and then to have one of those like slidey ladders like in Beauty and the Beast that you could use to get up to the tall parts of the bookcases and stuff. Uh, and then I realized that you need to be like you need to have money to have that shit because who the fuck has enough space in their house to just dedicate one room to only books and a fucking ladder? No one. No one has that kind of, well, I can't say that. I'm sure that there's people that have that kind of money and or space, but I certainly do not have that kind of money and or space. <laughs> so, it's the most cute fantasy you've heard in a while. Wait, really? I think, I feel like that's a pretty normal fantasy to have. I, I actually almost, um, I actually almost tried to do that with my current apartment when I moved in. <laughs> I was like, hey, Paul Hart, do you want to make, help, help me, like, make built-in bookcases for the wall and then we can put a ladder in it? And he was like, no, that's a stupid idea. It'll take up half of your living room. <laughs> I was like, but it would be fun. And he was like, no, that's stupid. <laughs> Let's change the light fixtures instead. <laughs> Which, yeah, okay, understandable. That's probably, that that's definitely, you know, the more pragmatic thing to be doing. And it's, it's probably the smarter thing, both monetarily and space-wise. But, you know, I think it would be nice to have a, a library room with a, a slidey ladder. I think that would be fun. <laughs> Go to estate sales. You can buy um, books for cheap. I mean, you can buy books for cheap, but it's not the books that are the problem. The problem is the built-in, uh, the, the, the built-in bookcases, because they would have to be built-in or incredibly heavy, like, really nice, fully wood bookcases that would be able to support the weight and, like, not tip over. And then add a railing and a ladder that can slide along that railing that probably also would have to have hinges so that it could, like, fold up a little bit flatter uh, and so that it wasn't, like, always taking up a fuck ton of room across your space. Pahar's anti-fun. <laughs> He's not, but he is very uh, logically minded. Mm-mm. And so he was like, Scion, look, do you want space to be able to do things in your home or do you want a ladder? And I was like, I want a ladder. And he was like, no, you don't. <laughs> you don't. That's a lie. You don't want a ladder. You want to have a couch and a TV. And I was like, oh, OK. Uh, no, no, we have not finished fighting game. We are, in fact, just about to start the game. <laughs> We are about to begin. Um, yeah, I guess I guess for those of you who are who have come from other communities, uh, via like either either those of you who are like checking us out for one of the first times, or uh, who came from Ari's raid earlier, uh, I talk a lot before I actually start a game. <laughs> my my average pregame zatsu is like. 45 minutes on the low end to like, I think the highest we've gone is like two hours and 15 minutes or something. 
so uh yeah mm, mm, mm. i i have to like purposely cut myself off especially when we do late night streams like right now because it is currently like 2 30 a.m um because these particular streams do technically have like a full stop cutoff that I should be <laughs> listening to and sometimes I go past anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. So yeah, but yes, I am I am gonna try to open the game now. I am gonna try to open the game now. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, all right, let me see if we have everything set up here. Okay. Let's see. That's not what I wanted. Background music. You can go away. Okay, can you guys hear the game? Time is relative. You're not incorrect. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But yeah, can you guys can you guys can you guys hear it? And I'm I'm assuming you can see it cuz I can see it on my OBS. So I'm hoping I'm hoping <laughs> that you guys can see it. Yeah. A little, yeah. Okay, so I'll turn it up a little bit more. I have no idea. <sighs> I saw this game, like someone did like a little thing that exists, like to say like, oh, this exists, it's fun, you should try it. And I was like, I will try it. And then I saw a couple of other people play it. And I was like, I need to make sure I don't watch other people play it because I want to go into this with nothing. I want to go into this with nothing. Uh, so I actually have, no idea what we're doing. I know, I know that it's a game about doppelgangers. I know it's a game about doppelgangers and that I am a person in charge of a desk. I'm a person in charge of a desk, yes. Uh, Waverly, have a good night. Have a good night. Oh, wow. Okay, all of a sudden I just had like a huge coughing fit there. Mm. Ugh. Why? Mm. <sighs> okay. All right. Have a good night, Wavy really. Get some good rest. All right. And so we start. Or at the very least, I hit click to continue. Oh, okay. So there's play record options play, I guess. Okay. Arcade mode, which I think is the only version that's available at the moment. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run, they kill, they, they kill you? Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. What the fuck is the Chester? Okay, well, if the doppelgangers look like that, we're not gonna have a huge problem, I guess. I hope it tells me what I'm supposed to be doing. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational finds. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you are the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine the person who wants to enter the building, oh, if, is the doppelganger. Question mark. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. Okay. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. Jesus Christ. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. Also, thank you, Sports Ball or Taco, for this while I'll read it in a second, I promise. <laughs> Here's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have folders with all the data of each neighbor according to their respective floors. Okay. To fill up the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Okay. 
Receive documents from this hatch. Danger. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay. Otherwise, if you determine that this is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. I will forget that. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Okay. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by y'all. Why? Okay. Sports ball, thank you, thank you for the soup. I appreciate it to clarify duct tape removes warts over time. Consistent overnight wearing with a wart ointment. Ah, okay, okay. So uh, it's like suffocating it essentially, I'd assume. Mm -hmm. And to like cover it so it can't spread. Yes. Oh shit, I missed something. Each day there will be a list of individuals who will request entry into the building. It is possible there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. Okay. Do we kill those ones? In which case you will mark on the checklist they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. You must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have the respect to, Oh god, don't forget to also check the expiration. Okay. February 1955. Man. Okay, so... Hello, good day. That's, that's unlock? Okay. Uh, Raft Helen Capuchin, floor three, number four. I'm a resident of the building. I went out to visit my parents. Resident Raft Helen Capuchin. She is a housewife. You look like a housewife. Uh, 96329. Oh, where's my folder? Here. 96329. All right. I believe you. Oh, where's... Wait. Oh, was I supposed to let her in? Yes. Okay. Who are you? You're not on my list. Selen Sverchet. One, four. I'm a resident of the building. I came from my job as a model. One, four. Selene Spurchetz, model. Okay, oh, she has a twin. Oh, dear. Okay. Um. Okay, the mole's on the right side. Uh. Oh, I forgot to check the other lady's thing. Oh, God, am I dead already? Oh, no. <laughs> Have a good night, Spike Wolf. Have a good night. Okay. 69514. Uh, 69514. That's what I said, right? Yes. Okay, but we do have to... Uh, ID, appearance... Not on today's list. Question to individual. I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. You're a model. What do you mean an emergency at work? I mean... Okay, but it, it does check out. Selene, Selene, and that's... It's on the right side, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna say go. Man, these little floating dots. I feel like something terrible is... Why are your eyeballs the wrong size? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? 72? That's not incorrect. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Why? Oh, it's 42! No! I'm an idiot! Oh, no! 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 I was so fucking certain. I was so fucking- Why was I so certain it was 72? Oh my god! Uh... I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm a failure. Wait a second. Elle est noire. Spurchettes. My apartment is 04 on the first floor. I'm pretty sure that you're not Eleanor. Burchettes, actually. Cause she has a mole. She she has a mole. Uh one four nine one six one four nine five six Okay, well that would have been correct. But yeah, she doesn't have the mole, and I specifically remembered that Selene had one and, and Ellen uh Eleanor had one. Which means that we... <laughs> Have a good night, silencer. Have a good night. Wait, and then do I have to call? Yes, I have contacted the Triple D. Great. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. I wonder what happens if you just kill humans. Oh, hi. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. I feel like there's like a, a gate that you have to walk into entry and then the gate that I let you in. So I feel like you literally just can't leave if you come up here. Milkman. You might be Francis Moses? Are you Francis Moses? Francis Moses, one eight nine nine five. I probably should have looked at the other thing first, but I did not. Francis Moses, one eight nine nine five. Milkman, okay, so he is a milkman. Tired eyes, short hair, wears a hat. Uh, apartment phone number, I guess if we wanted to call him, 4122. 32. I mean, yeah. It looks like the same guy. Feel like it is. Four one two two just in case though. Oh, good night, Memento. Have a good night. Okay, dial tone. Or uh Okay. Alright. Um Yeah, go on. Yeah, you don't... You don't seem right. Nacha Michaelis 2-4. 
You're not on, you're not on my list. Oh, okay, right eye blue, left eye green. Right eye blue, left eye green. Wait, unless it's, no, that should be right, because this is the right side of her body. Right, so that should be right. It has freckles, round face, curly hair. She's a chef, 65413. 65413. Okay, well, we're just gonna do this and we're gonna say this one. Let's question. Her. Not today's list because I have to leave due to an emergency. Oh, God damn it. From my building as a chef. Yeah, she is a chef. So. So I suppose so. I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I've let too many people through. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Okay, are you on my list? You're also not, you're also not on my list. Why are there so many people not on my list? Okay, 3-1, Mia Stone. My job is a teacher. 3-1, Mia Stone, teacher. Long hair, small round nose, has freckles, thin eyebrows. All right, I guess the eyebrows are the same. Her lips are huge. She's got freckles. The, f the freckles look different though. Her eyes are different. Her eyeballs, her eyeballs are incorrect. The eyeballs are wrong. <laughs> Yes. You have exterminated her. Thank you. Thank you for returning me to my safety. Where is the next person? I think you're on my list. You are. Gloria Schmidt. Okay. All right. Well, this part of your face looks right. 2-1. Uh, do you have a mole? You have a mole. Okay. This is looking good. Gloria Schmidt, baker, mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose, 41150. 41150, all right, and the date is after 55. Good. Came back as a banker. I think you're fine. Hopefully. <clears throat> I hope you're fine. My good sir. My, my, my dude, you fucked something up terribly. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm going I'm going to continue my job. If they could all be like that guy and just be just very obviously incorrect things about them. Huh? She ain't trying. What? Why? Yeah, I've contacted them. It's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, just, uh, I know that I just said if they could all be like the guy with the eyeballs that went wee wee in different directions, but um, <laughs> I feel like that was. Where's your papers? I mean, L Lois Stalinsky, you got that. You got the lips, you got the little bow, you got your stupid little ruffly shirt. Two, three, six, five, one. Oh shit, what floor were you? One, one. 
23651, she's a housewife. All right, I mean, that looks correct, but you didn't... I forgot to show my entry request. Yes, you did. I went out to visit my mother. Jesus, those are her boobs. All right. I don't understand why your hands are clutched like that, but like... Okay, my dude. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Have a good day. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Christ. <clears throat> the fuck? I just got a trophy. I don't know if I want to click that. Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information, go to... Oh, very fun. It's a silly little, like an ad for another game that they have. Oh, goodbye. Oops. My guy. McCoy Red Boys. You certainly do not look. Mustache, big nose, goatee, always wears a hat. Eight, four, six, one, one. Okay, well, those are all technically correct. But the outfit is so wrong. Wait, Mick L-O-O-Y? Is that right? Okay. Uh, 4242. Four, four. <laughs> My father and I are in the apartment right now. I fucking knew it. You're too fancy, you little shit. All right. Okay. Fuck you. You're too fucking fancy. You're too fucking fancy. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Only one of us is fancy here, and that's me. I am the only one who is fancy here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can continue your job. I will. You too, sir. Go go melt more doppelgangers or whatever it is that you do. I'm really not, really not certain. Hi. Uh, Doctor W. Afton. That's not generally how that works. Resident of the building. I come for my job as a physicist. Okay. Three. One. Dr. W. Afton. Physicist. Hmm. Robust eyebrows, wears glasses, short hair, round nose, square head. Yep, that looks correct. Uh, uh, five, six, two, one, four. Five, six, two, one, four. 1971. Dr. W. Afton. All right, that looks correct. Have a nice day, sir. William Afton. Yeah, I also was like, maybe that's that's probably a reference. I feel like that. No, my. Why do they they keep trying to go for the twins? Maybe because there's two of them. They keep fucking it up. Three, three, one, two. My dude. Just chill. <clears throat> yes. I will, I will. Hopefully you won't need to come back again. Maybe, maybe the rest of the day it'll just all actually be people, you know? It'll just be, it'll just be totally normal people. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you're, wait a second.
Oh, fuck me. Oh, God damn it! Two five eight. Hello? Hello? Four, two, five, eight. Oh dear. Everyway, thank you, thank you for rejoining for three months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. My wife and I are in the apartment. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, which means that we got it right the first time. <clears throat> which means... I don't understand what the difference is. Oh, is it her? just her dress? Can they just not change clothing in general? But like the milkman did the milkman thing. Date on our card? That's no, because it's 1955. So as long as it's, as long as it. I kind of want to figure out. What's going on here? She knows she should be on the list though. Okay, I'm not gonna let you in, but like... Yeah, I know that she has a weird dress, but there's there was another guy that like... Had a milkman's outfit on. Well, you know, I'm gonna kill you, but there's a chance that I accidentally left your do let your doppelganger in, and she's with your husband right now. So if you're the real one, then I want you to know I'm sorry, but you would have been dead either way. Even if I did let you in. <clears throat> so. Yeah. <laughs> fucked if we do, fucked if we don't. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, we've already let the real you in. And your eyebrows don't look right. A glorious monobrow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. We're, yes. Yes, you have cleaned. I, I want the day to end so I know if I died or not is what I want to know. When does the game let you... Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Oh! Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay. Yeah, we fucked up. <clears throat> Christ. Ugh. Two! Wait. Okay, Raph Talon was the wrong nose. Not Oh, Nacha had no date on the ID. Oh, I didn't catch that. I probably didn't even look at her ID, honestly. Damn it. Okay. All right. Let's go again. 
<laughs> Let's go again. Um, <clears throat> this time we know what we're looking for, so it's fine. Um, the first draft talent was a fake. Yeah, that's why I was looking at the one here and I was like, oh, fuck, everything looks correct. All right, who are you? You're not on my list. Albertski Peachman from one, two? Shoemaker. Albertski Peachman Shoemaker. Uh, eight, six, three, five, two. Your nose is wrong. Your, your nose is so wrong. Can I just kill everyone? <laughs> Do you think that'll work? What if I just, <laughs> what if I just like, <sighs> and everyone dies? Is that, is that okay? <laughs> Do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe later, maybe later. <laughs> All right, we can continue our job. That's good. Maybe. Just, you know, making sure that like everyone looks okay. Hello. Are you on the list today? You're not. Eleanor Sverichets, one, four. I know that you're a model. Yeah, everything looks theoretically correct. Oh, wait, you're, you're okay, Ele Eleanor. All right, you're also a model. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, one, four, nine, five, six. This looks very incorrect. Wait a second. One, four, nine, five, six. Do they just say that every time? Yeah, she has her sister's ID number. But this is supposed to be Eleanor. Fuck you. Can't get past these tanuki eyes. Mm -hmm. We might be a random thief and we might be a tanuki, but today we're playing detective. All right, she dead. I kind of do want to figure out like, how did the doppelgangers come about in this universe? Because we've got these floating particles. Like, was it like someone accidentally opened a door to an alternate universe or something? I've got a little thing. Hi or whatever. What is what is that little thing there? Okay, that's supposed to be there. Anastasia Michaela's two four. Two four. Student tired eyes, twin ponytails, small nose, round face. Okay, three, four, four, six, two. Three, four, four, six, two. How long are these IDs supposed to last? Nineteen eighty five. It's nineteen fifty five right now. How do they? They're supposed to last forever? I thought that that was the expiry date on them. I live here, whatever. My apartment is the 04 on the second floor. I mean, yeah. 1346. I mean, she's supposed to be outside. Yeah, OK. 
Okay, so they're, they are both outside still. I'm just... I don't know about that. Mm. Well, let's look at our ears. Okay, that's right. They're off. All right, well, you can go, I guess. Have a good day. I guess. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Eight, six, three, five, four. Where's your fucking ID, good sir? Eight, six, three, five, four. Okay. As a shoemaker, that's right. His eyebrows are right, his hair is right, his mouth is right, his nose is right. He is a shoemaker. <clears throat> All right, please don't kill me. Thank you. Uh, hello, Steven. Probably Stephen Redboys in 3-3. Three, three. Stephen Redboys in 3-3. Three, three. Resident of the building. Come from my job as a pilot. 66. All right. Uh, 55965. 55965. Pilot. Big nose. Wears glasses. Small head. Okay. You can see the eyebrows above... I mean, you look right. Oh, the previous guy was not on the list and I forgot to ask, you're correct. That's fine. You know, it's it's fine. I can die. I might just die. Hello, good afternoon. Gloria Schmidt, two one. Job is a banker. Gloria Schmidt. Gloria Schmidt, two one. Job is a banker. Four one one five zero. Four one one five zero. Four one one five zero. You've got a date on your card. Ah. Yay. Go. Next. Hello, Dr. W. Afton. How are you doing today? Not very well, I see, because your eyebrows are incorrect. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> Desert Punk, have a good night. Have a good night. I hope you get lots of good sleep. Mm -hmm. Continue your job. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm killing everyone that I don't want to keep around me. And that's okay. I hope you burn well in the fires that the triple D will bring down on you. I hope it's fine that you're dying Cause I'm not about to let you through 
Next. Are you on my list? You're on my list. Okay. Your eyes look right. Your mustache looks right. Your nose looks correct. Angus in one three. Angus in one three. Cipriani. Mm -hmm. Businessman, long neck, wears a hat, has a mustache, small eyes. 98845. 98845. And the date on the card is after 1955. Yeah, okay. Okay. Next. I kind of just want to kill you because, but I know that's a bad idea. Uh, Isaac Gauss in 2 2. Eyebrows are correct. Eye shape is right. No shape is right. What a smug face. Yeah, right? Ugh. 2 2. Isaac Gauss in 2 2. <sighs> Reporter. Hey. It's it, it literally is a, raw, a knockoff Superman. It's he's literally a reporter. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, they did that on fucking purpose. It's fine. Uh, one two three six nine. One two three six nine. Sixty five. Yeah, yeah. You sadly, you look like you're the guy. My dude, you're a thumb. Why does everyone say they had an emergency at work? That's the only answer we've gotten. My job is a shoemaker. One, two. Robertski Peachman. He's also a shoemaker. All right, the eyes are right, the hair is right. He's too thin, I think. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, no, yeah, no, I was, I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. I knew, I knew. I know I can trust myself. Well, I can trust myself sometimes. I still died last time. <laughs> I still died last time, so I really, I really can't trust myself. But we tried, you know. So that's that's what matters, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, Hel hello. I am not expecting you. Oh, fucking emergency at work. Yeah, fine, whatever. <sighs> Eleanor Schwartz at one four. Eleanor, okay, well, at least your mole is on the right side. Yeah, your mole's on the right side. Okay, one four nine five six. One four nine five six. All right, I mean. Yeah, you've got the triangle earrings. You've got got the curly cue on the top of your head. Moles on the right side. All your fucking eyelashes are correct. All 
right. Hmm. You're a booby lady, right? I feel like this is wrong. Lois Delinsky. All right, got the got the beauty mark. We got the pearls. Got the hair. Got the hat. Got the nose. I guess this is actually correct. I thought the nose was off, but it looks right. Okay, so you're in one one. I uh, went to visit your mother. Uh, two, three, five, one, six. Two, three, five, six, five, one. Oh, it is two, three, six, five, one. Oh my God, I almost killed her for no reason. I almost killed her for no reason. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe I did that. Okay, two, three, six, five, one. Two, three, six, five, one. Okay. All right. And she's on our list. Her nose looks a little bit off. But that, I could just be crazy. So what we're gonna do is call them one, one, five, two. Uh, but we're, we're expecting her to come back though. So she's not gonna be there. She's not gonna be there because we haven't let her in yet. Your wife is not at home. Yes, we know. Um, okay. I don't know, man. Because the bottom of... I mean... I could kill her. Why not? You know? What's what's one life for one life? Because, you know, if she's, if she's not a doppelganger... Then, like... Oops. I guess. Um, but if she is a doppelganger, then I don't die. So, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, you know, like the cat in the box. Yeah. Schrodinger's doppelganger. Um, because yeah, if they are, oh. Did we kill the person that was pretending to be you or did we let them in? That's worrisome. This looks like it was written in crayon. Were they all written in crayon? I mean, the glasses are right and the eyebrows are right. Three, one. All right, five, six, two, one, four. I just, I don't, I don't remember if this is how they all looked or not. So I kind of just want to kill you and live with that guilt forever and ever, I guess. Have a good life. You've, you've got approximately 30 seconds left. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it. You know, it's it's fine, right? Because like, he couldn't have been like an important physicist or anything. Hello, you're on my list, right? You are. Not to Michaelis, two, four. 
Not Jamakalis, 2 4. Oh, shit. They're all written in crayon. Well, uh, that man just died. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, 2 4. That looks right. 6 5 4 1 3. Six five four one three. Right eye blue, left eye green. Right eye blue, left eye green. Yeah, you're fine. And if you're not, I'm gonna die anyway. It's fine. I've killed a good couple of people, so. <gasps> I lived. Ah, I only killed two people. Good job. Good job, Ore. Yay. A for awesome. <laughs> When in doubt, kill? Yeah, I suppose so. It doesn't say who you killed? I guess not. <laughs> uh, this time around, at least. Okay. Mm. It's her again. Oh, you're immediately a no, my dude. I... Let's just do this for funsies. What are you gonna say? What's wrong with your appearance? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I did, my dude. That's right, but that's sure not. Neither is that. I mean, if you had, like, a an error with your, your razor last night, you should have just told me when I asked about your appearance, but... Um... You know, you, you didn't. So... If you're a person, then fuck you, I guess. Like, you could have just told me. Like, communicate like an adult, you know? Just... You, you, just chill, right? You know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi! Yeah, you look better this time. Brows, eyes, nose, mustache, mouth, Arnold Schmidt, in two, one. Two, one. Come from your job as a writer. Okay. One, nine, three, two, two. One, nine, three, two, two. You have a date. That looks good. Congratulations. Welcome back home, my good sir. Oh, yeah, hi, dude. Um, you're not on the list today. Was there was there an emergency at work? Yeah, yeah, I, I thought so. You know, I, I thought so. I think you're in you're in three three, right? Yes. Um, yeah, you you look correct. Five five nine six five 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 nine six five. You got a date on your card. Steven Ruboys. Steven Red Bull. Wait a second. You almost got him. You almost got me. You almost did. I was I was about to let this man in. I was about to let this man in and be like, welcome home. Have a good day with the rest of your grandpa. And it really would have been the rest of your grandpa at that point because you would have chopped him into pieces and eaten them. Man, they're so tricky. He just spelled his last name wrong. Wow, that was terrible. Hello, good afternoon. Mia Stone. All right, your freckles look right. Your eyebrows are right. Your nose is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 3 1. 3 1. Job as a teacher. 
three one job as a teacher two five one one five two five one one five nineteen seventy eight it's me a stone yeah I mean yeah I guess it's probably okay right like no I would say that you tried but I'm really not certain that you have in fact tried um that's okay though that's okay though mm, mm, mm. hello good afternoon shut door <laughs> sets off murder instructions Okay, hello. Gloria Schmidt. All right, your brows are correct, eyes are correct, nose looks right. You've got your lips. Is your mole in the right place? Yes, it is. All right, 3 1 as a banker. 3 1, you say. Yeah, no, no, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just, um, I have to finish the paperwork, you know, it's, um, it'll just take a second, uh, you'll be right up to your apartment in no time now, okay? Just, you know, just, just take a second, uh, maybe, like, sit against the wall there. <clears throat> yeah, she, 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 she was a doppelganger, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Next! Oh, it's thumb met. Oh, you look wide enough this time. Hi. Uh, where's your ID? Yeah, you did. You really did. You're not you're not on the list either, my dude. Why are you not on the list? It's, oh, there's always an emergency at work. Okay, Robert Ski Peachman. One two shoemaker. One two Robert Ski Peachman. Uh, all right, the, it looks correct. Uh, 89730, 89730. Okay, you've got a date on there, that's good. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, two, six, six, eight, just, you know, just in case, you know, just, just to make sure. Uh, cause like, you know, obviously your dad is, your dad's been here for a really long time. We just want to make sure that like, you know, you're, he's expecting you to come back at this time. Yeah. Wait. Okay. I don't think I let in another one of you, which means that either the doppelganger lives here or you're the doppelganger and a very good one. He's a very good doppelganger. What the hell? That was uncool. <laughs> Did not appreciate. I... Okay, this is Selene. One four. Yeah. yeah, you fucked up your mole placement, my dude. 
Oh no, did you you can you can get that surgically removed, you know, like if you draw it on the other side, then um, you know, it's it's perfectly okay. So, you know, I'm just I'm just letting you know, you know, definitely not calling anyone. Uh, just <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep going. Don't worry about it, dude. Next. Hello? All right, well, you've got it on the right side this time, at least. You've got a little curly cue, your eyebrows are right, your eyes are right, your little nose. You've got your square earrings, good, okay, as long as they're not triangles like your sister. Uh, Solange, Sverch, Bajertz, 1-4. Sverchets. Solange, Sverchets. 69514. 69514. Yeah. Probably. Guess. <laughs> You're not on the list, and you didn't give me your ID. <laughs> Oh wow, he just straight up is like, you caught me. Yeah, I am gonna call my DDD friends. I don't care if you want to think you're gonna achieve your goal. I'm not even, I don't even care if you're achieving your goal. I just don't wanna die. Fuck right off. This man thinks he can be like, oh, you can never kill us all. I don't wanna kill them all. I just, I just don't wanna also be the person who's being killed, you know? I'm I'm not out here for some grand social gesture, okay? I just don't want to die. That was an aggressive one. You're right, Yuzai. Hello, Arnold. Did I let you in already? Or was that last time? Oh, fuck. Uh, alright. That looks correct. Where's your fucking ID, my sir? All right, in two one. <sighs> Apartment is a one on the second floor. He's a writer. Where's a hat? One nine three two two. One nine three two two. Nineteen seventy one. No one's gonna be home if I call because you and your wife are both out today. Uh, but I can cry, I suppose. Maybe. Oh, fuck me. It's not your wife I'm worried about, it's you. Oh no, did I already? Oh, I know, I fucked it up. Oh, this man is the good man. Where's the hat? I didn't, I didn't see where's the hat. I let the doppelganger, okay, well, I'm already dead. You go, you go right on in, my good sir. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hi. Albertski Peachman in 2 1. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Wait a second. In 1 2. Albertski Peachman. Oh, it is 1 2. Okay. I thought I was saying 2 1. 1 2. Albertski Peachman. 86354. Your eyeballs are looking a little strange. 86354. Yeah, you can you can go in. It's fine. I'm gonna die anyway. I'm I'm dead. I'm fucked. <laughs> There's literally no chance for me now. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. You you look approximately right. Two one two one. You're a banker. Yeah, that's right. You are. All right. Cool. 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 Yeah. Two one uh four one one five zero four one one five zero is a date. Yeah. Just fucking go right on it. It's, it's great. Yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> Hi. Raph Talon Capuchin, you're not on the fucking list. Did you go I don't know what did you do what did you do today? Ah! Why? I was not expecting that had to happen, so I... Uh, I may or may not have jumped a bit at the sound effect going off. Christ. Why are they so angry today? Alright. Continuing my job, that's... yeah. We're gonna die anyway, if, it's, if, it's, if this is the end. We're, we're gonna... Oh, that's another person. You don't look correct. Roman Stalinsky in 1-1, one, one, hey? Okay, apparently you do in fact have that scar, I guess. Accountant, scar on the right chin, long face, one eyebrow, wrinkles. Is he supposed to be hat, wearing a hat? Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, we're going to call, though. Hello? Yeah, yeah, hi, Lois. Is your husband there by any chance? He's not at home? Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I think he might be back. Cool. Um, yeah, for as a, as a public accountant? Yeah, you're an accountant. 59684. 59684. Uh, yeah, the date looks correct. Yeah, I mean... I'm already dead, so that's fine. Close my eyes just in case that's the end. I hear someone. Oh, hi. Who the fuck are you? Emergency at work? Yeah, okay, that sounds about correct. Yeah, okay. Alf Capuchin, three, four, a lawyer. Uh, lawyer, Alf Capuchin, wears a hat and a monocle and has a mustache, a big nose, round face. Okay, then uh, four, two, five, eight. Let's just call your wife real quick. Um, I, I know that she was like looking for you earlier today, but like just, just in case, you know. Ah, what happened there? What what happened there? Wait. Four, two, five, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Um, is your husband there? No, he's not. Oh, okay. I, I didn't think he'd be... I mean, he might be back. I wasn't sure if he was gone. Oh, okay. She just hung up on me. All right. Well, yeah, you could certainly be the person you say you are. Uh, 96347. 96347. That looks right. Yeah, I mean, go on ahead. It's not like I can live anyway. It's fine. All right. End of the day. Am I going to get jump scared again? Oh, yeah, okay, we died. All right. Oh, God, and we know exactly who it was, too. 
Oh, we were doing so good. Uh, no DDD logo. Is that what it was? Damn it. Fuck. All right. I want to try something. We're not... This isn't going to be a serious round. This is, in fact... We're just going to do a speed run, you know? Just to see what happens. Oh, that was definitely a doppelganger already. She didn't have the mole. I mean, he might have been right. We don't know unless it's like ID. But, you know, the doppelganger did a pretty good job uh, in terms of physical appearance in that one, I think. Yeah, hi, sir. Yeah, yeah, just just go right on in. I'm sure that your wife is here and, you know, waiting for you. Um... Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be really, oh, you good sir, did you, did you, oh, were you lifting really heavy today? Uh, you, you, it looks like you might have gotten a good pump, like, in your face, did you, like, lift with your face, maybe? I don't know, I don't know, man, okay, well, um, that's okay. Oh, hi, hi ma'am, is your, oh, okay, no, never, never mind, that's fine, I just, I just wanted to see if you want to get coffee sometime or something, but, like. You know. Oh, hi. Oh, did you get new eye implants? Those look, look no, I um oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You know, as I understand not everyone wants to talk about their surgical procedures and stuff. Uh <laughs> that's okay. That's that's fine. Oh, uh, there might be some new twins though. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Hi. Uh, your hu your husband. Oh, never. All right. Well, that's okay. I'm sure she'll figure it out, right? Like she, I, her husband's twin is here. Hi, hi. Uh, well, I mean, that's fine. It's, it's okay. <laughs> and palm fruits, welcome, welcome on into the Tricksters. I hope you're having a good night. I hope you're having a good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, hi. Your uh, your dad might still be out if they're. Oh, okay. Ha oh, you're missing your scar. Did you get that surgically removed? And they're gone. It's it's fine. I'm sure I'm sure that eventually someone's gonna stop and say, Hi, hi, wait, I oh. Well, you know, he could have stopped and said hello to me, and I could have just told him that his wife seems to have like become biblically accurate wife. Oh, wait, where's where where'd all your eyeballs go? I um Huh. Well, I guess she's not biblically accurate wife anymore. I guess it's probably a good thing I didn't get to tell her husband that. He probably would have been really mad if I said that and it didn't, you know, actually happen to be the truth. <laughs> ah! All right. <laughs> department, yeah, apartment door is under maintenance. Uh -huh. Doppels captured, zero. Neighbors killed, zero. Doppels you allowed in, seven. D! Isn't that, that's probably the best, right? Because we work for the DDD, right? So if we get a D, it means now that we're like, we're the DDDD, uh, it's like the quadruple D, right? I think that's probably pretty okay, right? Like it could be worse, it could be worse. <laughs> okay, I am gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly refill my water cup and take a really fast pee break. Um, and I will be right back. So I will leave you here on this screen of D. I'll be right back. Right, right, right back. Okay. Actually, before I leave, reminder that you guys should also take this opportunity to, you know, go to the bathroom or stretch or get some water, all that kind of stuff. Yes.
Come on. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Ah. Thank you for the arson. I do appreciate the arson. Also, thank you for the supas, Big Red, and Jello Noel, and Reno, and the Creepiest. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys all so, so very much for the supas. I do appreciate it. Mm, mm, mm. Was it DDD or PPP? It was definitely DDD. And if you see something stamp PPP, it's definitely a doppelganger. So good luck with that. And yes, Jella Noel was correct. It was a hydration break for everyone and a pee break for me. There is no tax for that, though. That is a perfectly free thing that you can do. Yes. At any given time. Um, generally speaking, if there is a bathroom. Um, but like if you're in the forest or something, then you also, you know, could, I guess, theoretically just go anywhere. But like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and yes, I did wash my hands. The fact that people have to ask that. The fact, the fact that that's not just like a given in any given situation. <laughs> All right, this time, this time we're gonna try really hard to not die. Hello, sir. You're not on the list. <laughs> You're not on the list, my dude, which means that I don't trust you. One, two, one, two, two, six, six, eight. Two, six, six, eight. Yeah, hello, uh, Albertsky. I was just uh, wondering if you were... Your brother's not at home? Yeah, no, I was more wondering if you had a twin or... Oh, never mind. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, the brother isn't at home. And that was Albertsky. So, yeah, Robertsky is actually out. Fuck. Has a go, but okay. But he's saying that he's on the list. He's not on the list. Eight nine seven three zero. Eight nine seven three zero. Like that's the only thing that would be. Yeah, you know, if you die and you're not a doppelganger, that's. Because if I let you in anyway, and, and, you know, you are the doppelganger, then if I let the real you in anyway, they're gonna die. So, like, it's, it's fine, right? Yeah. Everything is a-okay. I do wonder where these doppelgangers have come from. Where am I? Where have I come from? Am I a doppelganger? Was I a doppelganger last time when I let all the doppelgangers through? Hi, Mr. Fuckface. You don't have your ID. Give me your ID, please. Yeah, yeah, you did. You forgot. You fucker. Isaac Gauss, 2-2 two, two, as a reporter. Yeah, we knew he was a reporter. A-A-S-S- A-A-C-K. Is this right? A-A-C-K? Okay, alright. Nope, it's 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Yeah. Alright, uh, the brows are wrong. You, I knew something was incorrect with you. Your face was not smug enough. I did not immediately wish to punch you. I was right. Mm -hmm. Gabe is giving you old jail escape games. <laughs> uh -uh. I like this kind of game. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> They're just silly little games. I kind of... It's interesting, the, the view from the background. Uh, yeah, where's where's your entry request form? Yeah, you, you did forget that. You're also... You're also not on the list. An emergency at work? Yeah? 
All right. Um, three, three. Steven Ridboys as a pilot. Yeah, we know that that's right now. Steven Ridboys, big glasses, wear, oh, big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. Yeah, I mean, okay, 55965. Five, five, you're, no, fuck you. Everyone is trying to come in today, man. Not a single one of those people have their ID and everything set up properly. You know what? If you're human, that is a you problem, my dude. Okay? You chill. You stand outside. You wait to get things in order. You don't come in here. And hand me stupid fucking documents. No. Fuck you. Go. Away. No. Stop trying. Yeah. Okay. You know, DDD, if you could just leave uh, some people outside the building here, if you could, you know, I, if I didn't have to call you, you know, if you if you hear the siren go off, it just means that you can come back inside. Does that does that work? Could you do that? Maybe I think I think that would be better for you and me. You could you could stay here. No. Okay. Well, I guess if they don't want to stay here with me, that's fine too. I suppose. No. Yeah. No. If you would have been like, oh, like I had surgery, or like I got a facelift, or like hair transplants, or something, yeah, maybe I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Ignore it? No way in hell. Not in a world with doppelgangers. Didn't even try. Didn't even try. Man, these are some low-level people trying to get into this building today. The clown is just fucking staring at me, though. Yeah, you you forgot your entry request. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You're, uh... <clears throat> Francis Moses in 3-2... Alright, Milkman... Uh, 18995. 18995. Okay, that looks correct. Yeah, okay, you got your triple Ds all in order. That's great. That's good. That's good. Uh, 3 2, resident of the building on the third floor. Reason. All right, I mean. Yeah, you, you look correct. You know, you were you were in a hat, you've got short hair, tired eyes, thin chin, long nose. Yeah, yeah, I you know, I think yeah, I think you're good. Maybe. That or I just let the person in who's gonna kill me. <laughs> Can you explain that to me? His name is Walter. I'm sure I'm sure Walter is very nice and I I do understand that you know rent is really expensive now so like maybe the you know, the, the reasoning is like you, you needed a new roommate and like Walter said he'd step in but like yeah you know maybe not maybe not you know, just <clears throat> yeah. You can continue. Yeah, and I, I can continue my job. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Jay, thank you, thank you so much for the gift. Of the... <laughs> thank you for gifting the membership. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for trailing off. I just, I was not. I was not expecting. Whatever this is. Peach, papa peach, peach, pa peach, papa pa peach, peach, pa peach, peach, papa peach, 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 pa peach. It's a very nice poem. Uh, if you just sit right there 
And, you know, if you want to read that to me... You know, if you, if you want to read that to me again, that would be really great. I just... I just need to make a really quick phone call. You know, just... just real, real fast. Don't worry. You won't even... You won't even notice. Alright, it's fine. Everything's good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really trying to continue my job, but like there's a lot of weird shit going on. So if you could like not know oh alright. Hi ma'am. Welcome back. Um <clears throat> you're not You're not on the list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Fuck it fuck indeed. You're not easy to fool. You know, if you had said anything other than fuck uh I might have let you in, honestly. You just, you know, next time... I mean, there really isn't gonna be a next time for you, but, like, if you could just lie a little bit better, maybe? Like, your whole goal is to kill and eat people, right? So... <clears throat> yeah, cleaning protocol is completed? Okay. Alright. Great. Alright. Are we coming? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, you look correct. You're, you're not on the list, though. Emergency or whatever. All right. Can, can I have your ID, please? Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, two for Anna Stacha Michaelis. Anastacha McAlis. All right. Uh, tired eyes, two small ponytails, small nose, round face. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that looks about right, I guess. Uh. Three, four, four, six, two. Three, four, four, six, two. Oh, there's no fucking date on your card. I'm sorry. If you're a human, you, you know, you you probably should have just gone back when you realized that they're they they fucked up your ID like that. But um, <clears throat> I guess I guess now you can't because you're you're gonna die. So sucks to be you, I guess. Mm. Yes, cleaning protocol. Yeah, I feel like I haven't let very many humans in. Do you think you can check no check check on my humans? No. Yeah, that's fine. Um <laughs> Hi, my dude. Uh where is your entry request? <laughs> Why is your queue looking like that? Uh Afton 3 1. That looks right. That looks right. That looks right. Okay. Afton 3 1. As a physicist, we know that that is correct. Mm, all right. Double uh, 5 6 2 1 4. 5 6 2 1 4. Hmm. I mean, yeah, how about, what, what if I said that you weren't on the list? What would you say to that? Huh, okay. Alright, that's, you know, a pretty generic call. You, you are actually on the list, so... Just, you know, making sure I didn't fuck something up terribly. 1971, as a physicist, 31, W. Afton, okay. Uh, have a good day, Jerickson. Mm -hmm. Have fun touching Ooh. your grass. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you good, sir. All right, eyebrows are correct, eyeballs are good, nose is good, mustache is on point today. Good job, Arnold, 2-1. 2-1, Arnold Schmidt, as uh, a writer. Really? Are you? Oh, I guess you are. 19322. 19322, Triple D, 1971. Wears a hat. Okay, we've got that checked off. Good job, sir. Have a good day. 
Maybe. Maybe have a good day. Maybe don't kill me. Hi. <laughs> McCluey Red Boys. Uh, nose is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Three, three. Hey. All right. A retired uh, mustache, nose, goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. Okay, he's got a hat. That's good. McLouis Rudd Boys. McLouis Rudd Boys. All right. 1958. We'll squeak in a little close, but I think we're okay. Uh, 84611. 84611. I mean, yeah, okay. I guess. Doug Dimodome of the Dimsdale Dimodomes. Hello, Selene. Got your square earrings. Your yeah, that looks right. That looks right. That looks right. That's on the right side. You didn't fucking give me your ID though. And your sister turned me down for a date. So, you know. All right, you are Selene. Uh, those look about right. One four. Selen 69514. 69514. Yeah, I mean, it looks right. Maybe. Hi, um, welcome back. You look approximately correct. Gloria Schmidt in 2 1. Gloria Schmidt. All right. 2 1. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 41150. 41150. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, you're probably okay. Oh, fuck me. Well, <clears throat> I, you guys can fight to the death. I think that would be really fun. Um, you know, just if the two of you, like, you, you don't have to bring it back here. Oh, fuck me. Damn it! Oh, you were so close. You were so close. No! Damn it! Like, we still got an A, so that's not, that's not terrible. Yeah, fake documents. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Ah! I want to get a perfect run, though. Well, we were, we killed a neighbor or two anyway, so I guess it's not technically a, a perfect run anyway. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> And hello, Zach. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? We're we're just trying to, you know, not die, uh, which we failed at a good number of times. And also to kill all of the um, doppelgangers. Well, I mean, it says to imprison the doppelgangers. <laughs> but... <laughs> Have a good night, Noble Shade. Have a good night. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you get a lot of good rest. All right. I think this will be the last one for me, maybe? Good afternoon. Hopefully this is the run. This is the run that we get perfect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hopefully. All right, Albertski Peachman. All right, your, your, your outside looks good. One, two. 
Albertski Peachman in one, two as a shoemaker. Albertski Peachman. That's right, that's right. Okay, 86354. 86354. 86354 as a shoemaker. Alright. You look good. Oh, have a good night, Big Red. Have a good night. <clears throat> okay, McClue Red Boys in 3-3. Three, three. Uh, you come from doing shopping. That looks right. That looks right. Are you on the list? Yes, actually. McClue Red Boys. Always wears a hat. Smoke scared. Da, 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 da. 84611. Eight four six one one. Okay. I'll take it. Well, I want to punch you, so and your name is spelled correctly. Where the fuck is your ID? Yeah, yeah, you did. Um all right, eyebrows are right, eyes are right, nose is right, your big punchable fucking mouth is correct. Two, two, you say you're a reporter, that's right. Uh, one, two, three, six, nine. One, two, three, six, nine, DDD, 1965, that's probably okay. Maybe. Hey, fucker. Give me your ID. Yeah. Uh, okay, you are on the list. 3-1. 56214. 56214. That's right, that's right. Okay. In 3-1, as a physicist. R2-D2 Afton, you fucking bitch. You, you, you made me check all of those documents and you couldn't even try to pretend that your name was something human? Oh my god, oh my god. Christ. <laughs> uh, Techless, hello, hello, welcome, welcome back in. Way super time. <laughs> Thank you for rejoining for five months. Woo. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you look probably approximately correct, honestly. Uh, Lois Stilnski. All right. Oh, your mole, bitch. Your mole. It's on the wrong side. Three, three, one, two. Hi, I have a case of a lady who does not know her lefts and rights. Neither do I, but at least I can put my hands up and be like, this one is an L and this one is not an L. That's a lie, I can't actually do that. I put my hands down as if I'm playing a fucking piano and therefore I look like a silly little raptor moving my fingers back and forth. And that's how I know which one is my left hand and which one is my right hand. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna continue my job. Next. You know, I kinda just wanna burn you on principle. I'm not gonna, but I wanna. Margaret Bubbles. A R E T T E. Okay. That's certainly a spelling. Um uh, have a good day, Nas. Have a good day. I hope your I hope your work day is yeah. I hope your work day is good. Not too busy, but not too slow so that it goes at just the right pace. Mm -hmm. Okay. I live 
in the third apartment on the second floor. So two, three. All right. Yeah, you've got the weird eyes. Seamstress, deviated left eye. Okay, yeah. Round nose, big smile. Yeah, okay. Um, one, four, five, nine, zero. One, four, five, nine, zero, DDD, date looks correct. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with you. I'm sad about that. I was kind of hoping there would be something wrong with you, but like, I guess you can go in. That, it's the smile. It is, the smile is just so, I fucking hate this man so much. Can, can I burn you as well? You're not, oh, you're fucking on my list, god damn it. Okay, um, eyebrows, fucking eyeballs, punchable ass mouth, yeah, okay, you fucking bitch. Isaac goes in 2 2. All right, yeah, all right, I'll fucking Isaac go. Ah, I can kill you! Die, you fucker. I hate that man so much. <laughs> There's just something about his mug, you know? You know? <laughs> He'll never fly again. And that is exactly the point, Aaron. La 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 Give me your form. I guess you are on the list. So then Sverchets in one four you got the right earrings, you got the right facial features. Lens, fur, chits, DDD, you got a date. All right, one, four. Uh, six, nine, five, one, four. Six, nine, five, one, four. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess you pass. I guess. Hi. Did I let you in already? I certainly hope I didn't let you in already. One, one. Still in ski. Two, three, six, five, one. Two, three, six, five, one. She was the wrong mole. Okay, thank God. Thank you, thank you for reminding me because I was like, I swear to fuck. I'm gonna let her in, I'm gonna... You know, there should be a way that like the human, if they see the doppelganger in their house, they can just like fucking fight it out to the death. Mm -hmm. You can always call the room. I mean, the thing is, since she's on here, even if she's in the room, I'm, I'm just fucked. <laughs> Even if she's in the room, I lose. Uh, so there's really no point in that case. All right, you look the same. You've got the date. You've got that. That was right. Your name is spelt right. Yeah, you can you can go. <clears throat> Next. Yeah. All right. Hi. Um. Romans, oh, your wife just came through. Why did you not come through with her? That's a little odd. Okay, Roman Zielinski, accountant, uh, wears a hat. Great, because you're wearing a hat and I was worried about that. Five, nine, six, eight, four. Five, nine, six, eight, four. Got a date, you got the triple D. Roman Zielinski, your name is right. As an accountant, are you an accountant? Guess you're an accountant. Yeah, all right, I guess. I guess. 
Um, welcome home. Uh, go, you know, do whatever it is that you and your wife do after a long day out in the world full of doppelgangers and things that want to murder you. Fuck. Well, either we win or we lose, but that person is dead. Thank you for sacrificing your soul for the possible future of us and everyone else in this building. If you were, in fact, the doppelganger, then fuck you. Hello. Uh, you're not on the list today. An emergency at work? Yeah, okay. Three, four. Alf Capuchin. Okay, okay. Elf, Mr. Elf, a lawyer. Uh, prominent mustache. Wears a hat. Do you have? Do you have? A, you don't have a hat on. Yes. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, four, two, five, eight. Of course, this only helps. Only helps if your wife is actually your wife and not a doppelganger. Uh, and your wife could theoretically be a doppelganger. Yeah, I know your husband's not at home. Do you have his hat by any chance? Yeah, his hat. Oh, he lost it there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we're fine. N nope. If you're not a doppelganger, then you've got some sort of baby demon soul hanging off of you. And like, honestly, I just, I just don't really want that in my space. <clears throat> so like, bye or whatever. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I know this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've never asked me this question before. I I know this. Yeah. What is the scientific name of the Australian animal that drastically changes its appearance when removed from its natural habitat? Human. Ah, <laughs> uh, blobfish. Blob fish? Is that Australian? Damn. I don't think that's Australian. That's just a deep water fishy, but you know. <clears throat> Hello, good afternoon. Hi Arnold, uh, okay, you're looking pretty okay today. Uh, looks like Arnold Schmidt, Schmidt, 
two, one. Arnold Schmidt. Is that right? S C H M I C H. S C H M I C H. Okay. All right. Um, two, one. Two, one. Yeah, you're wearing a hat. That's very good, mister. One, nine, three, two, two. One, nine, three, two, two. One, nine, three, two, two. Yeah, okay. This looks fine. Yeah, I mean, good luck. Have a nice day. From the Asiatic Seas. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I just had, I had no idea what it would be. Uh, have we seen you before already? I've already fucking seen you. Oh, the, except it was R2-D2, so it's fine. Okay. All right, Dr. W. Afton, 3-1. All right, three one, Doctor W Afton, five six two one four, five six two one four. Yeah. All right. I suppose that that's yeah, that's acceptable, probably. <laughs> Maybe. Oh ah, no, it's not acceptable. I was wrong. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Who was it? Who was the fucker? Ah. Oh. Lois, no triple D logo. Damn it. Ah. It's the little things. It's the little things that trip me up every fucking time. Oh, God. God damn it! It's fine. Everything is fine. There's, there's, there's no need to panic. Everything, you know, we, we did, um, we did pretty good, honestly. We, we, I mean, there's one time where we didn't die at all. We didn't die at all. That was really nice. Um, but yeah, sadly, that isn't how we ended. We did, in fact, die. <laughs> we did, in fact, die. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Who is alive and around today? <laughs> Have some leniency? I heckin' wish, but it doesn't seem like leniency is a thing that this game particularly allows. Why are they still... That's fine. Um, let me see here. Okay. Oop. I don't know if you guys... Oh, thank God you guys couldn't hear that. All right. So it looks like there are two people who are up and around right now for me. Yes. Okay. And that one has just started. And this one is... Okay. They're both good. Okay. So there are two things, two streams that we could raid into or we could uh, go into today. Uh, one is, seems to be a higher energy stream. One seems to be a more chill stream. So the options are infinite craft with Spica. And that would be more of a chill stream probably. She's going to be chatting a lot more and it'll just be kind of chill and exist like you know a, a fun little stream and the other one that we could go into is fuyo from idol and she is currently playing beat saber mm -hmm. so if you guys want something that's a little bit more upbeat than that one or if we would like to just hang back and relax for a little bit we can go into speak up mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know what let me let me put up a poll Mm, we're going to speak up or a fuyo. I'll leave that out for a couple of couple of moments. It is a hard choice, right? It is a hard choice. I love them both very much. <laughs> That's why I tried to put it up as a choice of rather than 
uh, one creator or the other, one VTuber or the other. By the way, I will also link both of them uh, in the chat, just in case, you know, there's one that you would particularly rather. Um, but yes, it very much is uh, just, do you want something a little bit more upbeat? Or would you prefer something a little bit more chill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it for maybe like, 30 seconds or so, I guess. The blobfish is Australian. Oh, I, it was probably then like it wanted the scientific name, like the proper name, because it's not actually called a blobfish. That's kind of just like the colloquial, like silly internet person term, I suppose. Oh, it's so close. Okay. It does seem like it's going to be Fuyu. I'll close it as soon as I put the links in. Just because. I don't know why it added an S, but it did. Fuyo. There you go. So if you want to go hang out with one or the other, either Spika or Fuyo, please do make sure that you can go there, even if you don't necessarily want to join us on the raid. It does look like we are going to be raiding into Fuyo, though. As long as I have terms for that. <laughs> Let's heck and see. I do. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go hang out with Fuyo then today. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. I really, really do appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow with fucking Ori and we're going to play this stupid fucking game, okay? We're, we're gonna play it. I'm gonna be really careful tomorrow. I'm gonna like purposely bring like, I don't know, fucking painkillers and shit with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a water bottle to work tomorrow instead of just like letting myself dehydrate for eight hours. We're gonna we're gonna play this stupid game, all right? <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, mm. So that is what we are going to be doing tomorrow. We do have a lot of streams in general this week, though. I've got a couple of different collabs. I've got a couple of other streams. So tomorrow it will be Ori at 1 a.m. again. And then Thursday, we've got two separate streams. One is a collab early for me at noon. Uh, we are doing some pie day things with some girlies. I believe Tia will also be part of it. And so will be Pippa from Globy. <laughs> and then we will be playing Project Zom Zomboid later in the day. I think I have it incorrect on my schedule. I think I put it on my schedule at six. I think it actually starts at four. Uh, and we will be playing with Mina and Echo and Kokone Senpai. Uh, Friday, I do not have any streams. So we'll see if that fucking changes or not. But there are 12 million fucking things that are going on on Saturday because we have the Gen 5 girls debuting at noon, starting with Serenity, our cute little bunny kohai. And then we have two separate streams. We've got an ASMR Wikipedia reading stream at 5 p.m. And uh, I promise that I will actually turn the mic up enough this time. <laughs> Please let me know if there's things that are wrong with my audio because I am, I don't know what I'm fucking doing, okay? <laughs> and then there is another Project Zomboid collab with Ari. Uh, and some of you may still be around from her raid at the very beginning of stream. So we will be playing with her and that one starts at 9 p.m. PST, I want to say. I'm very excited for that as well. And then, of course, we round off the week with some Subnautica on Sunday. <laughs> okay. But thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I'm so sorry that you missed everything, Danny. We'll be going again tomorrow, though. But yes, thank you guys so, so much. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Sayonara. Bye bye.